Here we are, hey. and we are live. Welcome, everyone, to episode 48 of Gumpla Talk. Um, I am one, one, just one, one of your amazing co-hosts, Tim, the one and only Chad of Mecca. I am joined today by a cavalcade of characters. Say that three times fast. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to talk about uh, the Gumpla uh grades the levels of models and things like that today and we're going to be power ranking them uh hopefully you guys are in for a treat because uh, this is going to be fun i think uh we're gonna just break it down for you and uh, let you know our thoughts in terms of what's good what's not what's hot trash and what's a cool, cool level so uh strap in buckle up hope you're ready for a ride and here we go First thing we're going to do is we're going to introduce everybody, see what everybody's working on, and uh, then we're going to go into a little bit of news. We're going to take a look at Australia GBWC because that happened just very recently, which was awesome. Uh, and then we're going to get into that. And then also at some point in this show, we are going to do a fun drawing challenge with our good friend Josh. That's always entertaining. So with that being said, let's start this uh, cavalcade uh up and let's uh let's start with our good friend zach zach go ahead and introduce yourself buddy me oh shoot. i'm there <laughs> first <laughs> not you Hi. you oh right sorry <laughs> hi what it's me <laughs> it's me uh <laughs> anyone who's not finished with your matt k and gundam entries for that contest you've got five days left to finish so hopefully you're all finishing that, those of you who are working on those projects. I've got just enough time to start. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've got just enough time to start. Oh, oh that's one. Cool. That's really good. Uh, yeah, uh, that's going on. The photo contest just wrapped up yesterday. That was cool. It's a ton of entries. Some pretty cool photos. And uh, hi. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Thank you for joining us, Zach. And I'm less than a thousand away from 100K. Oh shit! The Ooh. countdown officially begins. Ooh. What's August. the estimated? Uh, what's the estimated date? I haven't estimated to a to a particular date, but in August. Oh, it's getting yeah. close, man. Mm -hmm. Getting nervous? No. <laughs> yes. Oh. Sure. Well, it's anticlimactic, yeah. isn't it? Huh? <laughs> What's he gonna be nervous about? Ain't nothing gonna change. It's a hundred k, man. That's a big number. Yeah, uh, AJ, nothing but a number. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 it'll be a thing. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it'll yeah. be a big thing. Big thing. Just gonna big keep it. I want you to oh, yeah, uh, have like a shirt that just says a hundred k. I guess that's okay. I just don't yeah. know. <laughs> what is? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. 100K, yeah. no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> then you get the silver button, don't you? Uh, yeah, I don't know how that works. They, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure you'll find, find out. If I have, have to, to like, I have, yeah, if I have to like, request it or if I will get some email about it, I don't know. Yeah, you probably have to buy the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Using uh, your head revenue. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, we've deducted it from your ad, ad revenue without you giving yeah, us right. permission. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, was wah, wah. Like, I wonder if it's like uh, if you have to pay shipping or something if it's international, but I would assume it would be probably sent from Google Asia because I get paid from Google Asia, not from Google America or US, whatever, I guess. So I, I guess it maybe would come from Google Asia as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I Which would we'll still be international, right. I suppose. I don't think that that's based in Korea, but I don't know where it's based at, actually. Oh, Alex says you need to apply for it on YouTube. Uh -huh. yeah. Wow. There you go. I'm going to go apply for it real quick. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> just, just get that out of the way. So, like, in 20 yeah. years when I actually get there. <laughs> I knew it was worth it. Right. <laughs> they all called me fools. Yeah. <laughs> at your at your funeral, Justin, I like walk up as the music's playing and like set it on your coffin. It takes it so long. Yeah. It's like why is Zach or why is Josh at my funeral? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's on the other side oh, of the world. 
<laughs> That's because I love you so much. Everybody oh, awesome. awake, yeah. like, who is this Australian guy, and why is his beard so beautiful? <laughs> and I, I take off my I take off my beard and set it on your coffin as well. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. It's a beard wig. <laughs> it's touching. It's oh, beard, good old beard wig. Um, nice. That's awesome. Well, Zach, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, Let's go good. over to Simon. Simon, introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Simon, otherwise known as Gundam UK. How are Wonderful. you doing? Oh, <laughs> I like sure. that shirt, too, by the way. It's a wonderful yeah, shirt. Yeah. It's um, that design. That. Yeah, the fighting cocks, as they are called. Awesome. It's such a good conversation starter, this. Dude, I bet, right? <laughs> uh -huh. It was all about that. Remember IPMS? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah, yeah man. A bunch. Oh, dude. Yes. Okay. So that actually uh, brought back my, the memory. Thank you, Justin. So I wore that to uh, the IPMS event that we went to and uh, all these old crusty dudes are coming up. And they're like, crusty. Yeah. They're all like, you serve? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, I just like the logo and trust me, you wouldn't understand. It's a, it has to do with robots and stuff. So. Oh, you know, no. Yeah, you're talking about old crusty guys that are into like tank models and planes and all that. Mm. So it, there wasn't any explaining it to him or anything. It's oh. just passing by. One guy, one guy was just like uh, he uh, he said, uh, "Yeah, I, my son serves in that in that unit or something like that." Oh, oh, my God. Like, oh man, <laughs> I think I had that on video when that guy stopped you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it would have been great, right? It was like one of those moments where you're just like, okay, walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away, right? Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. Oh. So is, it like, is it like a naval symbol? Like uh, yeah. Uh, Air Force, actually. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. There, there's a real 67th uh, Tactical Fighter Squad. Uh, they're oh, based yeah. out of uh, Japan, actually. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So, cool. yeah. Oh. I love it. And like, they're like, did you serve? And you're like, man, GBWC 2016, 2017. I, I mean, I could keep going. Yeah. And you're like, I've even, I've even got the medals and stuff, like the yeah. little badges yeah. you get. And you, it doesn't compare to really serving. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I just, it was cool, man. But, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of people came up and, you know, asked about the shirt and everything. I was just in, you know, none of them knew what the hell I was. You know, I was modeling. Did you learn your lesson? About Gundam did you learn your lesson? What's that? I said, did you learn your lesson? Oh, hell no. I'll, no, still, rock it again. I'll still rock that shit to IPMS. Come on now. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about borrowing real life logos. Oh, no, <laughs> man. That's an homage. That's an homage to the 67th uh, yeah. Tactical Fighter Squadron. So, mm -hmm. yeah, man, there's history there. There's history there. Mm -hmm. So, it's all good. Well, that, that was like five five years ago. Oh, like 25 years ago in Thailand when you did like um, rooster fighting and cock fighting, like underground. That's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Back, when I, back when I ran a, a cock fighting ring, undercover cock fighting ring back in Thailand. In Thailand, yeah. Yeah. Uh, back when I sold opium on the black market. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, I digress. Let's, uh, thank you, Simon. I don't okay. know how we got off that tangent, I think, because of the shirt, but hell. <laughs> It, it, it started as a shirt and then then ended, ended up in the opium sales. All right, cool deal. So, uh, Justin, speaking of beards, say hi, Boo Boo. What's up, guys? Uh, Justin East Builds. Uh, I build robots with these guys and sometimes you guys. That's, that's all I got. Well, yeah. what you got on? Let's get into it. Do what? Well, what t shirt you got on? Let's get into it. Oh, yeah, right. we got, we got uh, Black Dahlia Murder. Hey. Yep. yep. All right. Nothing, really quick. Nothing anybody cares about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, man. Good stuff. Well, thank you, Justin. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Speaking of, of majestic beards, uh, Darren, Darren Lang oh, is Darren. In, the, in the audience. Is he? I missed that guy. Yeah. There he is. And he changed his handle to just beard. How no, I think his handle has always been beard because he has a uh, on YouTube. I, when I, I first when I first started, I think he had started just a little bit before me. 
Right. And uh, he went as bearded builds, and everybody thought that yeah. I was him. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I just hear I just see beard pop up, and I'm just like, how fitting is that? <laughs> Majestic beard crew over here. Holy shit. And uh, last but not least, and speaking of majestic, um, sexy-ass beards, Josh, go ahead and introduce yourself, buddy. Hey, guys. My name's Josh Dara uh, from Australia, and I build Gunpla models in a GPWC sometimes, sell my artwork on my website, and now have this thing. Um, yeah, and it does make you feel like a man. I remember my dad having them and having <laughs> mustaches and stuff when he was a pastor when I was younger, and I'm like, wait, I've got it now. It's, it's weird, yeah. <laughs> but you do find I didn't find it that I'm just playing with it all the time and thinking about things and 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 you've, you in your mind you're focusing on the conversation but don't realize that you're going like this and you're like oh yeah super great. Uh, and you you're just doing stupid stuff with your face yeah and doing little <laughs> twirls and things um and and then one of my one of my joys now is because every now and then it gets a little bit itchy but I just bought this little comb and I have it in my little dash um glove box in my car and while I'm driving here from work just give it a bit of a comb and it's Ooh. like having a back scratcher you just go oh and I'm sitting at the red lights and I'm going oh this is really nice <laughs> it must look pretty funny but I don't care because it's it's a nice little little itchy scratch yeah it's good <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever find yourself instantly turning into a stock model uh stock photography model like oh yes yeah. mm, yes yes with bearded that, executive the looking pencil yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. god intense yeah. business man yeah. oh, so, good. Um, so good awesome well thank you josh appreciate you that's coming cool. on with us awesome. oh and i see um Perzaku girl in the chat um i saw yeah. them at smash hey hey good to see you at smash too um so smash yeah. is the convention in sydney australia where the gbwc is so i was down there so i got to see a bunch of people which was cool yeah Yes, and, and shout out to Jody. She was rocking the uh, Titans Test Team shirt too, so that was cool. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> appreciate that. Awesome, good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right, so um, real quick, uh, let's go around and, and uh, figure out what each one of us is uh, we're currently working on. Yeah, mm. um, I'm still busting out on the Zaku. Uh, if you guys don't watch the stream, I highly suggest that you do come hang out with us. It's a lot of fun. A lot of stupid people hanging out and talking shit. Building models. He called your whole audience stupid. Yeah, because I'm stupid too. We just like to hang out and have fun. Mac Army, what? <laughs> Shut up, man. Uh, Zach, what are you working on, buddy? Uh, other, than judging, other than judging photo contests and shit. Well, yeah, that certainly took a while. Uh, finished up this day. <laughs> so I'll have a video going off to the final product. I'm trying to. Hold it. It's not really a good way to hold it. Here you go. Uh, here's a little preview. I'll have a full oh, video yeah. of that. Oh man, it's yeah, so yeah. nice. Ooh. It's all it's golden now. Red. <laughs> Looking much better it's, now. It just mm. it looks so good. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So I was very happy with that. It's got some imperfections, a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit fucked up, but it's, it's all right. Still looking good and. Uh, uh, a bunch of stuff, but nothing really too much else other than that to really show at the moment. Uh, but I will say that uh, at the start of August, I have a big announcement that I think all of you guys all know about that, all right? So yeah, uh, announcement of something. <laughs> includes some stuff that I'll be working on. It will include some stuff that I'll be working on next month. Uh, and then just some kind of exciting thing that we can all enjoy. Yes. For the month of August. So, yeah. Uh, that's a week rush away. So, August 1st, look for a fun announcement. That new thing? That's, that's something that I'm working on. It's not a thing, but it's a thing I'm organizing, kind of. So, there you go. Word. Yeah. Hey, did you just uh, throw that apron on? I did throw this apron on because I just I always have it like here on my chair. Like I always forget to actually put it on when I record myself. Oh, fair enough. I wore that for like six hours when I got mine. <laughs> like, I took it out of the box. <laughs> I just wore it around the house. The thing is that I just now noticed that you can just pull it this here to make it tighter. I I've been just just tying it in the back because it's because it was breaking down like that. I didn't know you could just pull this up. It's real fancy. Whew. So I just, just realized that. 
Uh, I mean, and you're like, man, I must have a really small neck. I don't get it. Oh no. Well, yeah, it's like way they low. I'm like, how, who's gonna wear this like this low? Who's wearing it like that? But, um, uh, so you just I, get a bit of nip, nip out the top. I was sitting here. I noticed like, why is this part of the string so short? How am I supposed to tie that to anything? Like, oh, it's out of there. Hey. Oh. oh man. Hey, man. Uh, Okay. Damn, I want I want an apron. I don't have when you see everybody with the Tamiya ones and stuff. And it's not like we just get super mess on us, but you just go, man, just a little extra accessory. Oh, yeah. it's cool. I gotta get one. Get yeah. ask Link to give you a guy notes one. He's probably got, he's probably got a big box of guy notes. Yeah, right. Loading and stuff oh. there. I saw him rocking the hat all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he could. Oh, I'm man. sure he could hook you up with a Max Factory one too. Oh, that'd, that'd be fun. good. Oh, that would man. be that would be killer, right? Uh, and yes. I should also <laughs> mention this. Yeah, I guess I forgot to mention this. Uh, Strider Prime in the, in the chat reminded me of this. I should also mention that, yeah, I'm going to be in uh, uh, San Francisco in November, and he's going to be there too. Yeah, how about that? Uh, for the. What's it called? What's it called? New Type Build Con. <laughs> Come on, man. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be there. Suddenly drawing a blank on what what <laughs> God's called. <laughs> New type build con, you guys. If you didn't know about it, and Zach are gonna be there. We're gonna be special guests. Uh what is it? Um November sixteenth and seventeenth. Um so yeah, in San Francisco, California. Uh come on out, me and Zach. Um Zach, what what's the panel that you're doing? Uh I'm doing one with Dennis, who's uh Krosama. So we're yeah. going to be talking about, uh, like, uh, I guess, like, life in Asia as a gunpla builder. So we'll talk about, like, this kind of the different experience of actually, like, having stuff in the store, like, near you, I guess. Oh, nice. Uh, and then I think probably the majority of the conversation is probably going to be more related to our, uh, like, just content creation kind of stuff. Right. That's kind of the special tool of ours as well. Um, and then some other things too. I think he's also doing a demo on posing, and I think I'm also uh, doing a, a demo. Possibly, it's not decided yet, as far as I know, uh, for sure. I think I'm also doing a demo, and then also maybe another thing too, uh, a few things. Uh, but yeah, Did you get your, your flight sorted out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all locked in. Yeah, we're good to go. Locked in, ready to rock. So. Um, yeah, so the first thing on Saturday, um, it'll be me and uh, Kevin Zhang, Mr. Dash. Both of us together will be doing a scribing uh, demo, uh, workshop, panel, what have you. So we get to kick off the convention. So that's going to be a ton of fun, right? Um, so uh, come on out for both days. Uh, mm -hmm. Check out uh, Google New Type Build Con, um, New Type HQ, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah. Hope to see you in San Francisco in November. So that'll be a lot of fun. A lot yeah. of fun. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of fun stories after that one I can see. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, other people that they bring you and Kevin and you know, Dennis Krosama and Gumpla Melly and who else? Yeah. Uh, some uh, cosplayer. Oh, uh, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> who? The only other thing that I'm working on is <laughs> reviews and stuff. That's all. That's that's all I'm working on. I don't. Sorry, Zach. I had to, buddy. <laughs> That'll be fine. I think that's a. I think it's a totally one-sided thing. I think that was just something that rubbed me the wrong way. That I oh, just yeah. like, in yeah. a joking sort of way, just held a held a grudge over. Oh yeah. I don't think she, would even remember that. No, probably not. It was, bring it, up. It, up. it was just yeah. funny as shit when it happened. So yeah. for those of you guys that don't know, inside joke, inside joke, don't worry about it. So um, yeah, Joel's gonna be there. Thank you, Bailey. Uh, good morning, B. Um, yeah, so true uh, True Gumpel is gonna be there. Joel, um, like you said, Gumpel Melly, um, uh, Tex Marquis, uh, who else, who else, who else? TL13. Um, yeah, TR13. Um, bunch of people they're bringing in for this so it should be a lot of fun it should be a lot of fun so come on out for that and uh yeah it'll be it'll be good times 
good times. Yes. Oh, and by the way, uh, you can enter into uh, the Gumpla contest. The winner, winner receives uh, all expenses paid trip to Japan. So that's not bad. Ooh. Yeah, Ugh. serious to go Jeez. go stunt on the GB uh, on the GBWC winners. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> it's it's only for next year, not this year, but still, it it should be a lot of fun. Uh, uh, Mateus in the chat asked if I'm going to live stream the demo that I'm doing. I, it's not, as far as I know, there's no plans for any of that at the moment. If if I do, I'll let you guys know. Yeah. Closer to the event, I'll probably have another video talking about what the actual plans and everything are for anyone who's interested in going so they know more about there that. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Next, please. Well, good stuff. Yes. Uh, Simon, <laughs> what are you working on, buddy? Um, nothing. Nothing. Look at that! Aww. Wow. Oh, yeah, I started really that. Wow, and some, still nothing. Don't you can see somehow, that. somehow, it's still disappointing me, Simon. Even though you haven't, I still can tell that you did a crap job at doing nothing. Yeah, you, you, you set a very high bar, Josh. <laughs> um, no, oh, wait, you Simon, I want to know, how, Simon, have you started <laughs> building that? Uh, that what is the PKO? What is that? That kit? Have you started building that kit? Oh, the um, real mechanics um, UN thing, Majiggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What is that? I saw you post that. What is that? Explain that to it's us. Like, um, it looks like uh, well, a, a new slash old line of kits that are being reproduced by Kotobukiya from uh, the Pat Pat Labor Labor series. Sorry? Isn't it from Pat Labor? Yeah, yeah, Pat Labor, oh, the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because yeah, so... I've got that, and I've got the Hellhound as well, which is like the kind of semi. Apache helicopter looking thing. Oh, nice. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um but yeah, um yeah, I've been taking a break and I've been doing a lot of hand painting. So like painting with my hands now. Um yes. painting <laughs> these things here. Oh, see if we can um man. build up a new skill. Outside. Sorry about that guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hey, speaking of painting with your hands, sorry, Simon. Did you guys see that video that was going on recently about that Korean the boy who paints with his hands with his fingers? Yeah, what? I have what? seen that. Yeah. yeah, I missed this. It's, it's quite impressive. Gumpla with his fingers. Yeah, he like. Oh wow! Hey, what finger painting Gumpla? Yeah, yeah. very cool. Like my eleven-year-old could do that. Oh, man. <laughs> Probably not, but still. Is it, is it like dry brushing where you like build up layers of like really dry kind of paint? Yeah, what is it? Tell me. Uh, I don't know exactly how I was doing it. Just uh, so the rest of you guys oh. know, but I was asking Simon about this is the kit that. Uh, mm. I, oh, I, I like that. Uh, I used yeah. to have one of those from mm. a million years ago when I was. Yeah, it, it originally came yeah. out in, in 2008. So yeah, I think I, I think I bought it for like $60 <laughs> at Disney. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that looks so cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, nice kids. Yeah. Like a tank on legs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very interesting looking, yeah. Uh, okay, sorry, yeah, sorry, uh, sorry Simon, as you were. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's it. All right. That's it. That's yeah, all. That, that's what I'm working on, so, yeah. Very good, very good. Everybody needs a break every once in a while. That's mm -hmm. it, yeah. So, good stuff. Uh, Justin, what are you working on, buddy? Uh, well, I'm working on a couple different things. Uh, airbrush tutorial series for YouTube is coming very soon. Uh, I've got this little RX I took out of the cabin. I really wanted to weather something, so I mm -hmm. took this already finished model and started weathering it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Um, a couple commission pieces, um, videos on that coming soon, but. Nothing too crazy. Now you're using the uh, oil brushers uh, by. I'm using uh, a lot of different things for this. Right. Uh, okay. I use, uh, let's see. I just had it. Uh, the chipping color is just like an acrylic paint. I use that for the chips, uh, and then I bought. I bought. This is only part of it, but I bought an entire set of oil brushers. Oh Look at that. Mm -hmm. I, I even bought. I'd never heard of these uh, streaking brushers. So I'm going to try those out. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd never heard of them. I was on the website, and I was like, I'm going to get all the oil brushers because I want them. And <laughs> Wynn Win, uh, told me, he's like, you should buy these. They're amazing. So yeah. 
uh, I went to go buy them and found those. So, oh. so I, I did like some filtering and stuff with with uh, the oil brushers, and then I'm gonna put a flat coat on everything. Or well, just a few minutes ago, I finished using the the Weather Masters. Yeah, uh, just kind of highlight the edges a little bit. How'd you like those? I love them. I've used them for a long time. Nice. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna flat coat it, let that cure up. And then we're going to do a little bit of light streaking and some other weather effects. And then I'm going to try and put a base together for it. Oh, look at you. Look at you getting into bases and stuff. I like I it. Figure I got I to gotta do something new. So we're going to try that. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Thank you. Uh, Josh, what are you working on, buddy? You just came off GBWC. Um, so have you started anything new? Um, I just started snapping together Dynamis. Oh, my name's is it dope? Oh man, it's so cool. And um, of course, you guys know who have entered, or even just when you finished a big build and you've been painting and everything, then you just get back and just do some simple snapping, and you just are going, yeah, and you got music on, and it's just joy. It's really fun. <laughs> um, and of course, go straight to the leg and have fun snapping that. Um, and um, it's cool because it's, it's super angular. Um, so I really mm -hmm. like the design they've gone with on here. Um, and of course, the little kneecap thing, and he's got little cannons that shoot out the front there. So all the little gimmicks. Um, and it goes together real nice, and the little inserts for the little rainbowy bits in here are really cool. Um, and I was I was mucking around with it, and I was bending the knee back and forth like that. And I'm like, oh look, that's that's okay for a knee bend. Sometimes they can't do much with it. Um, and I was just fiddling with it, and I felt this bottom section move a little bit, and I went, oh! and then just went like this, and got the rest of the bend, and it, it oh just just God. made me made me so happy. It was like this extra like 45 degrees, and mm -hmm. I didn't even because I'm just not checking the manual, and so that just made me really happy. So you guys all know that joy, yeah, good old <laughs> good old double knee joy. Um, so yeah, so that's been really fun. So I'm gonna snap up the rest of that, um, and it's a it's a really good kit. Have any of you guys built this one yet? Have you done it, Zach? I've, I've yeah. got it. Mm. You got it? Yeah, you did it, Zach? Yeah. yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I like oh, yeah, the uh, the double O kits. Uh, it's always kind of weird to see because that like second knee joint is always like down like the middle of the lower leg because yeah, below, it's so uh, low below yeah. the condenser there. Yeah, yeah so it's always it's, it's kind of weird looking at first, but mm -hmm. yeah. and it's a bit like a bit like a I don't know a, a goat or a I don't know with a little hoofy kind of foot here. It's like really stumpy. Yeah, yeah, but, um, it's cool. Yeah, so man, that's been heaps of fun. Um, and then I was also down at the at the convention, the Smash convention, um, and I did a new a new print, which is basically my unicorn drawing, and then I just inverted it in Photoshop. And I don't know okay. if you can see it in there. Um, really and then just sucker framed, se separated it out, and um, and the printer that I use at my university. Of course, it's all black. Um, and when you get full black prints done, you get streaking with the rollers and stuff. There's like no imperfections on this. It's the best black printing I've seen. Um, so oh, nice. I had that for sale and it, it turned out really good. People love that. I have a green one as well. So I'll put them on my site soon. Um, and then my friend um, Gary in Sydney, who is Ver R Y G A, Ver R Y G A on Facebook. And this is his new. Um, Sinanji print, and so he gave me a copy of that. Um, so oh, wow. this is really nice. So he, he does this all with with markers. So he's got the Sinanji there, and he's got the, the big B Max and a bunch of embers and stuff coming off of that, and a nice followed, little glow down here. I followed a lot of his work, and he's super good. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's he's cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's so di it's so different to my stuff, and it's really cool to see. Um, so that was cool. So if you guys are interested in any of his prints, um, check out his Facebook. And then when I was there at my um, art store, a couple of my um, customers came up and they said hey we've got this free pass to go see the um the director of double o gundam is here doing signatures mm -hmm. and i'm like what and i don't even know who he is i looked it up seiji mizushima um and they're like oh do you want us to go get anything signed so my only double o print is like my astrea and so they took it over for me and got it signed on there and says joshua mm -hmm. on there so um so that's pretty cool so that was random he just happened to be at the same convention that i was at and i had no idea that's all so yeah so yeah that, that was really fun so um that's what I've been working on. Yeah, that's about. Oh, and I got I got Mario Maker Two on Nintendo Switch. I don't know if you guys. I'm sure all of you have played a lot of old Mario or something. But you basically get to make your own Mario levels with all the mushrooms and the blocks and stuff, and you set up spikes. And it's cool because it's like drag and drop, and you put all the things in, and then you go book them, and then you're playing in the level immediately. And you can mm. test a jump, and you're like, oh, it's too far. So you pause it, put a couple blocks in, and then continue. And of course, trying to make these levels that are fun or maybe just really mean and hard that you can make your friends try. Um, so yeah, so it's been, it's been heaps of fun. Yeah, it's cool. And you can like change it, you can design it in like 
new Super Mario where it's all nice graphics and change it to old and it goes and it's the little 8-bit Mario there and it just oh, changes man. it all over. So it's really cool. Yeah. That's, that's, so that's cool. it. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm. Well, that's Some of those stuff. are... I, have you guys seen like any videos of those, like the really crazy ones? Some of them are just insane. There, yeah. Or it's like you just Mario falls in and he just like does all this automatic stuff and yeah. Mm. I don't know, it's really crazy. It's how you have like jump on flying enemies throughout the whole level or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah. It needs to be timed like to perfection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some crazy ones. So. Good stuff. Awesome. Well, thank you, Josh. Appreciate it, buddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rocking that awesome beard, too, by the way. I must say. Good stuff. Um, all right. So let's go to Zach. Zach, what's going on in the news, buddy? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Anything interesting? <laughs> that was the what now? That's the that was a great thing. Not ready. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I, am. I am. I was just looking at some. I was, I was going to pull up something else too, to show you guys, but I'll show you here in, in a little bit. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so the big news as of uh, what, today or yesterday? This was announced yesterday? It was yesterday, yeah. Uh, the PBMGHEWIAE. There you go. <laughs> I, wish it, I wish it was called like... The heavy arms version extra heavy or something dorky like yeah. that. Yeah, I think extra that, thick boy. <laughs> and uh, someone mentioned in my uh, Discord about like, oh, is this the heavier arms or the <laughs> heaviest <laughs> arms? <laughs> yeah, he's got a bunch of extra stuff. Man, look at those tank leg things. That's cool. cool. Mm. The tank leg things remind me of frame arms. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, totally. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you could <laughs> almost, I mean, not, you couldn't make it exactly the same, but you know, the extra missile pods and the tanks from the Gorai, you could make this pretty much out of just frame arms parts, but yeah, adding to the... There's there's also a resin conversion of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it looks cool. Uh, I actually just built uh, the... Shenlong Laoya unit. Hey Zach. Oh. Um, make sure you're uh, presenting because it looks like it's stuck on Josh over on YouTube. Is it? Uh, I oh. am presenting, but I think my computer is doing something and uh, like having a hard time. <laughs> oh. All right. Let me stop presenting and start again. So you guys haven't seen those. Of you guys, I mean, it hasn't shown anything yet. Um, okay. we just have the little preview windows at the bottom. All right. It's stuck on Josh. Let's try again. Here we are. Ah, there we are. I did something else wrong. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, why is my face so bad, Zach? You got to apologize for that. Jeez, this is me. not. Come on. I, I think we just labeled the video wrong. I just now we to got it. There you guys. This is not the 48th yeah. time we're doing this. This is just the second time, so bear with us, okay? <laughs> yeah, right. Technical difficulties still. All right. Uh, okay. So yeah, the uh, heavy arms there. So that's the thing. Uh, looks cool. Well, yeah, I was just gonna mm. say I just built up the uh, the Laoya units of the. Uh, Shenlong, which is also from, I think they're both from the, these, these are like novel versions from Glory of the Losers, right? Or Frozen Teardrop, sorry. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. One of those. So there's other versions of mobile suits from the series, so I'm guessing they're going to be making other ones as well. So I, I think, can't remember what the, what other versions of them look like. Wasn't the, um, the Shenlong that was released recently with that big sword from the yeah. same series yeah that's what i'm talking about yeah. okay okay I got you. Uh, there's also yeah, the other one would be the uh the sand rock with the armadillo equipment right uh this one so uh, oh, safe yeah. to assume that this is probably on the way as well in the mm. near future. uh but yeah this also exists as a as a resin conversion kit at the moment but so. 
Bo is and that's going to be uh, What is it? The Flugel? Uh, yes, I believe that is also from Frozen Teardrop. Yeah, it's like the wing good. one with the big wings. Yeah, yeah, uh, that would be cool to get, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I nah, Bandai band band band. would never do wings on a Gundam. No, don't count on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, next is the Master Grade Perfectibility Unicorn. Is a uh, Gundam based limited thing, but I'm assuming it's probably going to be coming out as a P Bandai release then later on. But mm -hmm. for now, it's just a uh, Gundam based Tokyo limited item. It's just the. Yay, uh, another unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectibility. It's the Plan B version plus the. Pigtails at the back. But, Perfectibility. Uh, oh, what a word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I don't, it's too much for me. I love the unicorn and most mm. of the different variants, but the, the plan B or, or the perfectibility, whichever one you want to go with, yeah, it's just too much for me. It's when mm. you start with all the different equipment on there. I've just never really been too much into this this particular version. They want to make. I like this version a lot, but I feel like every version of it is too expensive. Yeah, yeah. by a lot. And it's it's I mean, we're getting to the point where they're just it's like okay, we're gonna put another unicorn out with another color scheme with another different part set, and we're gonna milk every little bit of these molds we can get. Oh well, let's see here. <laughs> Here you go. We're also having uh, yeah, that too. Ben Destiny version of the perfect grade as well. <laughs> that <So>. shield. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah. Just taking the shield parts that they use for the PG Benchy Norn and just putting it together. So it's basically just a recolor version of the PG Benchy Norn with the oh. Norn P thing. I forget there's a, I forget there's a Norn PG, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so really nothing new parts at all. It's mm -hmm. just recolored for all that. Uh, so I'm guessing it's gonna have the red cycle frame. It's the Ben Destiny the RG version has red cycle frame. So mm. uh, yeah, but that more. I know Justin, you are looking forward to some more PG or some more <laughs> unicorn stuff. There you go. So I cannot wait to buy every PG unicorn that ever comes out. <laughs> I'm waiting for the uh, coding version. Oh, yeah. The titanium version. You're going to yeah. get that. The clear it's color version. Great. Now, this is something I'm actually interested in. Yeah, I was going to say. Set yeah. looks awesome. It's the uh, real type color sets, P Venda set of uh, converged <laughs> up here. And uh, oh, that what looks so good. This, I think when I posted this on my Facebook page, a few people asked if these were P Bandai. Just so anybody listening, the Converge Core series core is the line of P Bandai stuff. So anything you see Converge Core, that means it's P Bandai. Just, I'm just a sucker for the real type RX. So yeah. 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 They all look good. And people were, uh, a few people also had mentioned that why there's no uh, gun tank. But personally, if it was. I mean, I prefer having the Gelgu over the gun tank. Yeah. Me too. That Gelgu yeah. looks nasty, man. Yeah. The brown Gelgu is looking really super cool. Hell yeah. Uh, so yeah, these are going to be fun. I haven't actually ordered those myself personally, but definitely would like to get me that set. They look pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, it's basically a bunch of P Bandai stuff, actually. Uh, this is not new, but this is getting reissued, so that's always good. That's going to be resold out very fast. I thought about painting that. my full on color scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, I mean, it's just a recolor of the original version. Even the original version might as well be a P Bandai kit because it's so hard to find most of the time. I mean, when it's re once it's reissued, it's, it's like you can get it for like a month. And then it's just like gone on everywhere, gone. It's a nice kit. Yeah, yeah nice. I've always wanted to build it. I've never actually built one, but yeah, yeah. So just to let anyone who's interested know about that, that's getting reissued. So your eyes peeled. Uh, the MG Alex 2.0 clear color version. What do you guys think about that? Gotta milk them both. <laughs> 
Is it trapped in ice? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's like we to get a, an MG Tristan. Uh, oh, oh yes! Wow, speculation is rampant. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a, a huge fan of the clear kits. Yeah. It's just not. Yeah, uh, yeah same. I prefer the, I think the big, full clear kits over the clear color kits. Yeah. What's that? I prefer the full clear kits over the clear color kits. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah, I feel like yeah. the clear color just kind of looks weird and muddy. Yeah, yeah. especially with the, clear, white. with the full clear kits, you can do some really kind of sick paint jobs and effects and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Lance uh, Lance Nian from Australia did that in 2016 with the three uh, um, double O's right. going Trans Am. Mm -hmm. You know, each oh, stair yeah. step of the of the kit, and that that was just insanely cool. So. Mm -hmm. um, you can that's do stuff it. like that, but that's it. I, I like this a lot more than I like metallic kits, though. Oh yeah, yeah, metallic <laughs> kits seem like a waste. Like, come on. I think one thing that could be cool though is to just have the the regular kit, or I mean, just like paint the main mobile suit like all as normal, but then just have like the exterior armor out and clear like this, so you can see like all the inner skeleton yeah. of the exterior oh, armor. Cool. cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'd love that. Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> So, yeah, something you could do with that. Uh, this is also a kind of base exclusive thing. Again, it's just uh, another color, color version of the Goof Flight type that's coming out. Uh, but an awesome kit. It's a P-Band kit, but I highly recommend getting it. I think you guys like the design. It's really, really nice. Yeah, it's nice looking. Mm -hmm. I, I, I reviewed the uh, regular version of that, and that's a really good kit. A lot of fun. Uh, other P Bandai stuff, P Bandai version of the F91 Venom, of course. No surprise there. Uh, not sure if we've seen news for sure whether like the color stickers there. It's got a couple extra little color apps that the regular version mm -hmm. didn't have. So I'm assuming those are going to be water slides, considering this is a P Bandai kit. If it wasn't P Bandai, they probably would just be stickers, but. Considering that it's P Bandai, I'm assuming they're decals. I haven't seen if there's anything about that for sure or not. Let's see. Um, scanning, scanning. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it does say here it's water slide decals. There you go. Sweet. Yeah. So just a couple of color correcting water slide decals, but otherwise, the read color of the regular kit. And. Uh, yeah, the P-Banda HG second victory. This looks awesome because they actually did, it's like a sort of 1.5 version of the HG victory Gundam. They made some new parts separation for this as well. Oh, that's cool. Aside from just the new equipment on it. Where was the, there was an image that showed the new parts. Here you go. So you can see the green highlighted parts. We got new yeah. parts for the body. So a couple of extra new little bits there, I think. So, uh, yeah, on some of those parts there. Man, but, this would be such a tiny little kit with all that stuff on. It'll look yeah. great. Yeah, it's what great. Though. Yeah, I, when we when we had like the the teaser for this, I really thought that it was going to be a master grade because based just based on like the the size of it compared to like mm. the base that it's on, that you could see it. It really looked like it was more on hard scale. Uh, but I'm actually glad that it came out as a HG instead because. The master grade victory gun is not so fun, but yeah. HG, yeah. Uh, I like. I built uh, the B2 assault buster HG kit. It's a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to this one a lot. I really like this version of the victory gun. The equipment is super cool, mm. but yeah, uh, high resolution god Gundam. You guys think about that boy. It's the closest I've gotten to one of these. What's that, Justin? I, I don't really like I don't really understand this line. Like I get what it what they made it for, but yeah. um <laughs> I haven't really been into the designs, but this one is pretty good. Yeah, I mean this is the first one that actually kinda sparks joy. The the Verkop <laughs> 
wing gun number <laughs> three. Yeah. I like that over mm. the cup, but this this one might, might end up getting bought. This is the one. No. This just standing pose image, though, is the one that makes me say, Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, it's a good Yeah, his legs and his feet are so bulby fat. Dude, he's been doing calf raises like a champ for the past three yeah. weeks, you know? Yeah, yeah, look at the biceps, yeah. too. Look at how huge the biceps are. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's a small boy. Dude, he's got coconut <laughs> raised calves. Look at that. And the other thing too is look at how flat the chest is. See how like how flat the chest part is? How that should be like the yellow part should be like poking out more. Oh, I don't even remember. Like more of a I mean not, I shouldn't say it should be, but just I think it looks better as it usually looks when the chest is coming out more. It looks very flat. There you got this kind mm. of like flat part there that covers up the, the green thing underneath. So yeah, I love the God Gundam and anything new from G Gundam is good news, but yeah, oh, the from the staff, <laughs> you know, like posed up, it doesn't look as yeah. bad. Yeah. It looks cool, so I don't know. And then there's this, let me, uh, how, how do I demand just the seam line in the shoulders through the gray part yeah. and the red part, that seam line, what is going on with that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah odd, geez. It? It's awful. And I mean they they've made it so that it's a so that it's supposed to yeah. supposed to look like that kind of. But, yeah. but if why? either if why? either one wasn't there, it'd make it better, but it's because both are there. Mm. Mm. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Yeah. I want some more G Gundam love, but not like this. I do like what they <laughs> did with the feet, though. Scroll back down, the articulated toe and everything. Mm. Yeah, that's and good. Scroll yeah. down just a little bit more. You and even just the pads on the bottom of the feet. Mm. Look at that. That's mm. come on. That's, that's cool. awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah Stray had that as well. Stray actually had the separated toe as well too on the front of the toe. Oh yes, the big toe. Nice. I just like oh, the, the front pads on the bottom of the of the the front of the foot on the toe. Yeah, that's it looks like, like a, a a jogging shoe or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's genius to me. I love yeah. that. Mm. It's cool. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if like that that front of the toe under the sole is like replicating like some kung fu toe shoe thing that we have in real life or something. The tread yeah. might be exactly the same or something. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So it's a, it's a mixed bag for sure. Mm. What's the price on this? Uh, 100, 150 bucks, basically 140. Yeah, that's that's the oh, other thing. I get to have less fun. Yeah, but it costs me more money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a little steep. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I mean, Justin, I'm with you. I've been saying the same thing, like since the start of the line, like, who is this line really for? Like, mm. I've heard that it's like an intermediary for like figure collectors. That's why it's so expensive, but it's yeah. like yeah. Yeah. who like, are into figures but want to like dabble with building models. I, I don't mm -mm. think. Yeah, I, I mean, it basically seems like for people who, uh, yeah, I mean, collect figures or enjoy the look of the uh, metal build series figures, but want to actually build something and want actually something that's at least a little bit cheaper. Why doesn't yeah. Bandai just make the metal builds models like what we really want? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we really want. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I think this is the last thing here. Is the uh, Master of Barbatos? Yeah, something I didn't yeah. think we were going to see yeah. anytime soon, but here it is. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't think we would. We would ever see this. Yeah, because of, yeah. just because of the um, full mechanics -y ones. Yeah, I just thought this yeah. would never happen. Yeah, I mean, uh, I yeah, I was kind of on the fence. Uh, I I I was thinking like that, Josh too. I was thinking like, oh, mm. you know, kind of what would be the point? But then again, I'm sure because it's, it's just such a popular Gundam, I'm sure they'd probably mm. make an upgrade eventually. But I didn't think they would make it this soon. I was mm. I figured like four or five years down the line or something like that. But yeah. Because what are we like? Maybe three years down the line? 
three. Yeah. Oh Maybe four almost. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Uh, so mm. the it, this, this confirms the one thing that I've I've said for a long time, and that's that nobody knows what they want to do with the proportions of the Barbatos at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very... The only thing I like out of this is um, the arm, like the forearm, has like a really a lot of like really nice looks like panel separation mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a pilot mm -hmm. figure. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, pilot figure looks cool. <laughs> but, I mean, Everything else, I do not care. The, yeah. the <laughs> I don't well, know what they were doing with that. I mean, look at the feet. I mean, you think the you think the old one one hundred had duck feet? I mean, look at this thing. Mm -hmm. That thing has got some flat toes, and this is like, hold my beer. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's yeah. like pancake feet. Like, come on now. Mm. Yeah, they got rid of the high heel. Part. Yeah, I kind of like the high heel, but this this kind of works for it, sort of. But the flat toe is just it kills it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's very squatty looking, you know. And it might just be the angle of the shot, but. It looks like it's compressed vertically, you know. Yeah. Mm. And very weird. One thing I'll also point out is that boomerang that he's got on his forehead. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if we go back, it's, a, uh, it's almost like going up vertical. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, show uh, us a show us a what it was. Um, but offense. Uh, not launch, but if you like look way back at like, oh, I could just go back to my video of that. <laughs> uh, so I'll pop up there. But at the announcement, when they first announced it, they had that like uh, big Barbato statue. Let's just go in my video because I think I've got a picture of it. And I think I talked about Dude, this. Dude, anything for views, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's yes, see 2015. Old Zach. Oh, my God. <laughs> there I am. That's a nice hat you're wearing in that uh, in that video there. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw that in the trash. Is oh. that Lifehawk? <laughs> <laughs> is that Lifehawk? Uh, no, okay. uh, uh, I'm I'm sure in this video I must have mentioned about the about the statue they had there, and it had like the weird ass kangaroo legs. It was goofy looking. The statue <laughs> that they had at the opening event. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, there you go. go. Uh, oh shit! Oh yeah! Oh weird! What is going on with his head? Yeah, it had a really boomerang-looking V fin on that one too. Yes, but yeah, it was it was yeah. Like like you said, Justin, they've never really been able to sort they, out what the portions are. They do not know what they want to do with that. They're like, yeah, <laughs> like the action figure was really what kind of driven home for me that new figure that they did with the gigantic shoulders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, they really have no clue. They don't know. There you go. Oh, hold up, Zach. Go back to the other the other shot of the barbie toes. This is the, the, the one you video. were showing on your video. Yeah. <clears throat> is that? Yeah, yeah. Is it okay? So look yeah. at the shoulders. Is it just me, or did they cut them off like three quarters on the top there? Yeah, they look oh, like yeah. way compared, low. compared to that, right? Look. And look oh, at yeah, this one. Yeah. The shoulders are just it's way up. cut off. The top part. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. yeah it's kind of a a freaky. A little kind of stylistic thing. It's a small change. Uh, this one also has a seam line oh, on the yes. shoulders as well. It's kind of hard to see under like the main part, this lower part. As you can see, it's got a seam down the middle of that one as well. Oh, that's ugly. cool. Yeah. So. Kind of and it's going to be mm. annoying to get rid of. Mm. Everybody's going to be mad about it. <laughs> I just love, yeah, the bedpost he's got for a handle on the mace. That it's, mace handle. Oh, dude. Why? Dude, it that is. Why? why? <laughs> <laughs> it's so a bedpost. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't unsee that, can we? Oh, but, that's hideous. Damn it. Hey, now, you know. It's wild speculation as to what's going to be the next one. Because, you know, I mean, any new Master Grade kit, they're thinking about how they can... How they can it's going to uh, be P Bandai's on P Bandai's. We're going to get, like... I I think that we're going to get... I think they're going to do like they did with the uh, the high grade for this one. You can, mm -hmm. you can 
I mean, to make form one, all you do is take the shoulders off. Mm. Yeah. So it's literally nothing to put a couple extra armor pieces in there for the arm. Mm. And that's form two. So they're going to give us, they might give us a graze. And mm. then everything else is going to be P. Bandai. Mm. I could see like the sixth form being P. Bandai. Mm. Yeah. Because it's, it have a handful of more new stuff to it. But I think if, if, I mean, like any other gun that was like to do like a Kimara or a Vidar or something like that, it's using like the same frame. I don't think that those would be Pibenda. They'll have to make those video yeah. releases. But. Probably. The only joy this brings me is that we might get a Lupus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lupus. Yes. This, yeah. this should have been a G self. I will mm-hmm. say until I. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, I didn't even think of that. Oh, that makes me so sad. It's gonna, it's gonna happen eventually. <laughs> well, eventually, yeah. We have an entire um, line of, of one one hundred scale iron blooded orphans kits, and Jesus mm. Repo got nothing. Mm. Oh, no. I'll take a no grade at this point. Just give me a one one hundred scale G cell. That's mm-hmm. what I want. Is it me? Is the barrel of that gun drew cox? It's yeah, super- it, yeah. It's got a little warping going on there. Bit of a kink there. Yeah. But hey. Eh. It's alright, anyway. So that is it. Yeah. For the news stuff. Word. It's ranking time. Oh, oh shit. Yes. Here we go. Alright, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So uh what I take that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through each of uh the lines of Bandai uh model grades. And uh, give our pros, cons, opinions, uh, rants, raves, all all of the above. And we're going to rank them uh, in this cool little thing, Tier Maker. And um, if you don't like it, then sorry. (laughs) That's going to be our definitive ranking. Uh, No, this is completely arbitrary, and we're basically just going to have fun with this and kind of see what this is as objective as it gets. Yeah, yes. right. <laughs> this is be, this is, I'm sure this is going to be fun. Let's go. All right, Zach, start us off. Let's go. What are we doing? All right. Well, hang on. I'm just separating out the, separating out my windows here so I can still look at the chat while we're oh, okay. doing our thing. Good. Very good call. I kept wanting to, while we're doing the news, I kept wanting to check the chat, but I had it in the same window. <laughs> hang on, please. Uh, let me up, everyone? Situate my stuff around here. We all know the Master Grade's going to win it anyway. Oh, yeah. That's kind of a given. Is it? It's called Master, yeah. yeah. Is it? Oh, is it? <laughs> yes, girl. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Presents the Tear Maker. In... The tear maker. Uh... So maybe let's let's throw let's throw a few up first, and then we can maybe come back and just mention briefly about a few. Once we've got a few on the board, then we can mention about a few that I left off of here. So yeah, like the small lines like uh, the uh, one hundred full mechanics line I didn't include on here because it's such a small line. But sure, we can come back to that once we've got a few kind of up there. We know kind of where we're going. With it, so cool. Which one first? First, first grade. It's an easy right. one. It's first, right? First grade. First grade. Yep. Where are we going? Good. Trash. Bad. I, I would put bad. it bad. I don't think I would put it trash. You don't want to put it trash? Why not? Tell us. Explain uh, yourself, son. I'm trying it's, to stick it's, this. It's a really yeah. good like entry point. Like as far as like being a good model, they're they're pretty mm-hmm. trash. But for people who are not as like into building stuff, it's a really, really good solid entry point. They don't cost anything. I don't see them flying off the shelves anytime soon. That, that was good reasoning. Here's the <clears throat> like Haros and Petite Bear guys are for, though. Not everybody likes that junk. Yeah, some people still want a robot. And I mean, this is, it's, we gotta rank these on yeah. what, I mean, this what is like, these. You're getting like a low tier high grade. And like this, we've got to rank these on what these tier, these grades are going for. It's like you, you can't rank a pizza against uh, uh, um, like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. The peanut butter jelly sandwich isn't trying to be a pizza. The first grade is trying to do a Gundam kit with the least amount of parts possible, which is a noble, noble task. That's fair. 
That's not let's, think, let's, think about this. let's think about this though. And I'm just throwing this out there for conversation purposes. If we can't rank first grades as trash, what can we rank as trash? It's trash. Uh, SD kits. I hate <laughs> SD kits. Yep. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Interesting. Well, here, here's my, yeah. I mean, I have a tendency not to think of anything as trash either, but I will say mm -hmm. as a counterpoint to Justin's point is that for a good solid like entry kit, you I mean like if you were wanting to get a kit like for your friend who was wanting to try something, and like a first grade kit, yeah, they're like really easy to build and really super simple, but just straight out of the box building a first grade kit, they look ugly. <laughs> they just don't they, they, they yep. just be put off the hobby. They look yep. like trash. So first first grade is is like what for like maybe like four or five year olds so they their attention span they build it really quick and then they just got this robot thing right well yeah I just think that yeah, I mean they're they're basically molded in like two colors so like if you have like a first grade Exia for example I don't remember exactly but it'll be mm -hmm. like the feet will just be solid red and the torso will just be solid blue and then like the arms and legs will just be like solid white something like that so like mm -hmm. yeah I don't think it's they like stick it either. And it's just stuck in this just standing pose like that. And the gun is like two millimeters thick, really super thin, and like just flop <laughs> on the hand like that. They're just bad. They're yeah. not, cool. I mean, if you wanted something simple to introduce to your friend, I think there's lots of just really simple high grades that look a lot better, like the Revive Arc 7A2 or something that mm. are much better and really not all that complicated. That would be that a good the, the, the Revive, okay, I'll, I'll allow trash for this one. <laughs> I think I think it's. The, I just feel I, I feel so bad. The Revive yeah. RX is definitely my go-to. Like for anybody <laughs> who wants to get into the hobby, I bought like six of those things. And anytime yeah, I'm right. Like, oh, Trying to build a model, I'm just like, here, take one of these. Mm -hmm. So gun. Uh, so uh, so Justin <laughs> yields on I mean, on trash. I was I was honestly about to yield on on my. I don't I don't fully yield. Like I don't think that anything in here is is straight up trash, okay. but. If if mm. I'm gonna yield on one, I guess this should be the one. Okay. Well, what do you yeah, guys I think, think? I think trash I find it. Hard. I I don't I don't like the word trash because I'm like nothing is trash. I wish it would be like awesome, great, good, bad. I wouldn't take it out of existence, but look, that would be my <laughs> final thing. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> feel about the way I do. Like like when I look at like game reviews and people are like this game is a one out of ten. And I'm like, does it? Is it a game? Like yeah, it would exactly. Have to, like, it would have to not be a game. Like I'd have to open up the case. <laughs> and like my PlayStation, and like it plays Titanic, and I'm like, what the fuck is yeah. this? <laughs> You're like, man, Titanic's still a good movie. I got to give it 0.5 out of 10. So yeah. that's the point. You've got to define the scale first. I mean, is it a scale for hobbyists or is it a scale for mm. people who are not don't know about the hobby? Well, yeah, let's yeah, that's a good thought. Let's yeah. Just, yeah, uh, admit to that point right away that we're all at least the five of us are in the mindset that we wouldn't c categorize any of these as trash, but for the purposes of this video, yeah, yeah, we're going to put yeah. something as trash. As trash. Yeah. 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 Just change the name in your mind. If you want, if that makes it easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst, the worst yeah. options among the worst. That's a good one. The last yeah. one you would ever choose to build. Yeah. 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 So let's, uh, let's do something. Interesting. Let's do RG. I'm gonna let you guys go because I have a strong bias here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Justin already knows he's yeah. gonna be either great or awesome. Am I right there, Justin? <laughs> I, I was gonna say great because I I do have a lot of gripes with the line. Mm. It's just my favorite line, mostly mm. because I don't okay. have a lot of space, so I get a master grade style build in a high grade package. Um, yeah, that's fair. Not too mm. expensive. There's a relatively decent lineup. I wish there was more like monoize and like grunt units than just like leads. Yeah. Um, mm. But you get good color separation. You get most of the time you get decent posability and playability. Um, they look great just out of the box, but mm. what you're getting it tends to be hit or miss. It's more hit here lately. Oh, yeah. uh, but like when the line first started, it was a really rocky start. Oh yeah. Mm. With the Zaya. So I would say great. I would say greater good. That's me. Okay. Mm. 
I would I would put it up there in great because I'm just I marvel at the engineering that they're able to do mm -hmm. on such a small scale and how pieces will actually stay together and click together, mm -hmm. not counting the RX seven eight as much, but still the detail and the and the dual injection molding for all the joints and everything like that, and it's so tiny. Oh man, and the details you get and all the stickers. If you like stickers, um, I'd I'd put it up there as great, especially the most recent ones. Yeah, mm. I'd agree with that. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, and, I'm mm. I'm more looking at good. Um, mainly because personal biases, I just, I don't like, number one, I don't like 144s. Um, mm. number two, I think the real grade line is maybe a little bit too over-engineered for the scale, but, and this is the big one, I totally respect the technology that they threw into this. The details and everything are actually great. Um, and a lot of people seem to like them. The Sazabi and the new are beautiful, beautiful kits. Um, I've never worked with them, e either one of them, but I mean, they're jaw droppers. So mm. I would, I would yield to good. Mm. And you guys remember on the boxes, I don't know if they saw the same tagline, but it was like RG excitement embodied. Oh yeah. They still got them. <laughs> Man, oh, I love it. The first time I saw that and it was when I had my, it was first into Gunpla and I'm like, this really is excitement embodied. I'm like, okay. is this a master grade? When I saw photos online, I'm like, oh, there's one, one forty four. Oh man, they, they nailed it. Yeah. Just hearing Josh say that just got my excitement embodied. <laughs> <laughs> hey now. All right. Oh, so man. what are we thinking? Real great. Great. Good. Zach, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm also going to go great. Uh, I, and I've had a very mixed experience with RGs. When I, when the line first started, I didn't care at all. I didn't, I wasn't interested in like the first handful of them until I finally built one and then I loved them and I wanted to build all of them. And then I didn't really like them again for a while and I wasn't really into them and I haven't really been into them all that much. I mean like, and then, then yeah, but the last few have been amazing. The unicorn mm -hmm. and the Sazabi and the crossbone as well have, uh, have all been really, really good. The fact uh, that they could do the unicorn at that scale. Yeah. And transform mm -hmm. and it's so sturdy mm -hmm. yeah so yeah and yeah aside from just my own personal experience and thoughts about the kid i think just yeah like justin said the line has had a lot of growing pains the first few and like obviously the zeta is the most common example that people always bring up uh and think in some ways and people disagree about this but i certainly think that in some ways there's uh things worth complaining about on the on the shenanju as well mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think the Sananju is as bad as people made it out to be when it first came out. But yeah, 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 yeah. I I agree. My but, biggest complaint with the Sananju is that it's plain. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they drop the real from the real grade. That's but what the whole line is built around detail and just let's slap uh, HG parts on a on an RG uh, mm. R two I mean, frame. It, it, it's beautiful in its simplicity, though. <laughs> I you mean, know, it is. I, I would, I would appreciate a little bit of surface detail, just a little bit. Yeah, 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 crazy. Just, I mean, yeah. especially after we got spoiled with the Verica, you know. Yeah, I mean, it looked exactly like the high grade. I put them next to each other, and I was like, "This looks the same. It's just got more moving bits." Right. Mm -hmm. So, what do we think? Uh, I know you guys are on great, Zach. What do you think? Yeah, so I, th I think great as well, and I think the. the the great thing, I think the best thing about the RG line is that I think it's really good for for people who don't want to paint. You can get a really, really good looking model mm -hmm. straight out of the box. But if you do, it looks amazing. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think right. I think it's the best. I think uh, it's it's definitely the best looking line just straight out of the box. Cool. Sure. Yeah, let's go yeah. with that then. I'm comfortable with that. All right, uh, then let's go back again to another fun one. Let's talk about 80s. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> so I've been kind of lumped these all into one category of here. So basically anything from like 80s into the early 90s, any of that stuff. like. <laughs> thing. So we're talking like straight, straight, straight early 80s shell models all the way up yeah. to like uh, what? Stuff. The Formula 91 stuff. Yeah, just kind of mm. lumping all of that stuff and yeah. like the, the early 144 scale uh, Sentinel kits and that kind of stuff, all that. Yeah, so basically pre master grade. Mm. Mm. Yeah, these are ones that came from like wooden masters, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Didn't they, didn't they the artistry, right? Yeah. Say that again, Simon. 
But you got to appreciate the artistry in those early '80s kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Now, what did you say, Justin? I missed what you said. They stopped. I think they stopped doing that, like when Double O came out. So, like, they were using wood molds for like a really long time, or wood oh, masters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just using as- asbestos molds. <laughs> like, yeah, that sounds safe. <laughs> so, there's a lot of there's a lot of kits, and it's a wide kind of a, a wide range, all kind of lumped into this. But I feel like they're all, you know, similar enough, basically, that I felt okay. It's kind of kind of all lumped them together, essentially. I I yeah, call I, this good. Mm. Good. See, they, they got some they got some good factors for them because the price, like when you look back at some reissues of some old kits from like eighty one or whatever, and it's like I don't know five hundred um, yen or like a thousand or something like that, like super cheap. And yeah, if you've not- been building Gunpla for a while, you go, oh man, I, look at that old box art. Like I got the old one one forty four um, C one Zeta Zeta Plus, and I went, look at this box art, and so. And I open up the parts and seeing these runners, and you're like, whoa, they did the wings together? What the heck? And you just get that joy of seeing how they do it. And you're like, these, what are these polycaps? And there's, they're really soft and stuff. And so there's kind of like a treat in that because they don't cost too much to get as well. Yeah. They're pretty much fixed pose, aren't they, sir? Mm, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, almost, it's almost like the first grade, but I feel like the charm is like, that's where it started. Like the models mm, that we yeah. have today, that's where right. it started. Mm. Yeah. And I mean, I was actually going to say something like that, too, because, like, you know, when I see 80s, the first thing I think of is the, like, the old, old, old MSV uh, kits that were just shells. And you have to keep in mind is that it's so much more than that. It's like the Sentinel line. It's like the the Formula 91 line. It's, um, you know, all those kind of pre-master grade high grades and stuff like that are thrown in there. Um, So... Yeah, this is a lot more than just those MSV uh, line of models. Mm. So I think the there's, I think, is uh-huh. is they're really good for people who want to practice basics. Like if yeah. you, you want to worry about seam removal, if you want to worry about, you know, I got to mask this to make this the right color. Um, you know, these are the good kits to get you prepped for that, and they're not expensive. Yeah, yeah. that's a, that's actually a great great point. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. picturing somebody new new to the hobby, and you're they're like, "What is this stuff?" And you, go, "Oh, it's really cool." And you you can get real grade because you get all the different colors of plastic. And they're like, "Is there anything where I can practice the seam line removal?" That sounds like fun. And you're like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> that looks like the best part of the hobby. That does. <laughs> you mean I get to wait <laughs> before it's done? <laughs> right. I'm gonna spend oh, three yeah. hours sanding. I can't wait. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and then and then I get to prime it and notice that I didn't do it perfect. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh man! The '80s ones—they pack a—they pack some happiness. Yeah, mm-hmm. some charm. I think that's the word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the, word. the nostalgia. Yeah, it's undeniable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like it's almost like yeah. okay. Uh, I was... Go ahead, Josh. Oh, I was gonna say it's almost like they need to go in trash. But if you've been doing right. Gunpla for like a few years, then it's up in good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, uh, a couple of points that I'll make. One good thing about, uh, not all of them, but a handful of the old kits did come with water slide decals, which is cool. That's something that we don't see in just standard mm. release kits all that often. But yeah. a lot of the old like 600, 800, 1,000 1, yen, little tiny little kits, and then they come with water slides. So mm. that's cool. Uh, especially like, the MSV kits. Oh, it's uh, like you when you get like a um, Gashapon or some little model kit and you get the gum, you throw out the gum with these, you like keep the decals and throw out the kit. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I've thought about buying uh, a couple of the MSV kits just to keep the decals. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> nice. uh, yeah, there's that, and the other point is kind of similar to like what Justin was saying. That it's good for practicing. I think the uh, the nice thing about these kits is that there's a lot of really obscure designs among these, and yeah. so, like if you're willing to do the work to like sort of modernize them or at least to you know make them look good, mm-hmm. there's a lot of uh, variety. Whereas like compared to the the first grade line, which is also pretty, I mean, the '80s kits. And the first grade kids, I mean, I think as just the base kids go, they're both kind of trash. But uh, the nice thing about the 80s kids compared to the first grade kids, the first grade kids are all available in other, like maybe like designs that are all available in HG and MG and other stuff. We have mm-hmm. much better versions available. 
a lot of the 80s kits are not available in other lines. So mm. and mobile armors as well. Mm, yeah, mobile armors, and you have yeah, a lot more stuff like having a one one or just like a one sixty scale high mobility type Zaku. Mm. You just don't have an actual perfect grade version of that. Oh, I guess that I mean there's other stuff, but anyway, so there's a lot of uh, things in the line that are just not available like, in comparable forms. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Your designs and stuff. But on the other hand, I do think I would still put it still in, in bad. I mean, the kits are not good. By any yeah. But yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of potential there. There's a lot of charm. There's some of them called water slides. That's cool. But mm. they're still not mm. really good kits by any means, I would say. Right. Yeah, I, I would support I'm okay that. With that. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Mm. So it's yeah, keep but, but better than first grade. grade mm. but... Yeah. Quality, and they also have more articulation than first grades too. So I mean, you're really yeah. getting more than that. Yeah, I mean, quality in today's comparison is, would be bad, hands down. But man, that nostalgia factor is just such a strong pull for a lot of people, mm -hmm. but not for everybody. So yeah, I'm yeah, good with yeah. that. Yeah, and that I think. Uh, yeah, I'm also just considering about just like appeal, just general appeal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, cool. For the majority of people, there just wouldn't really be, but. Let's do, we have three different SD lines here that I include. So let's do one of the SD lines. Let's do the cross silhouette first. And this is the newest uh, uh, cross silhouette. First of all, how yeah, many you, people actually build cross silhouette kits other than me? I was going to say, you're, you're going to have to show me photos of what these even look like. I don't even yeah, remember what these look like. like. I'm, I'm going to say greater these. Yeah, it's the recent line of SD kits that you that have like an inner frame on them, and you can you you can get the op, the optional like more extended inner frame that make them a little bit less SD. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then it's like all the white kind of inner frame. Is that the the one? Yeah, okay. they're in gray as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know much about these. Um, what what do you reckon, SD SD boy? You've got a bit more experience with SDs. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Oh, I was talking to you, Zach, because I'm, I'm figuring that you're the, I think you're the only one that builds them. I don't even, or maybe you just know more about them. No, I've, got, I've built more, I think I've, I've oh, you I don't like oh, SD, maybe. but like I've built a lot of them, which is yeah. weird. Oh man, what, <laughs> I love it. You're like, stupid thing, why did I buy you? <laughs> and then and another like, one. One of, my last, one of my last like big builds was like a resin SD kit, so. Mm. Whoa, I forget that's a thing, man. Didn't you do the, uh, the yeah. resin red zeta and gray zeta just came out? Those look pretty awesome. Wow. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I've I've built a couple. I wouldn't I wouldn't <laughs> certainly wouldn't call myself SD boys. That's why I was confused. I didn't know who you were talking about. <laughs> I, mean, I just I just love stretching it and adding boy to anything and then just <laughs> poking that at somebody. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, I would I would say good because. The line is still kind of young, but there's a lot of really good variety in it. I think yeah. that as far as SDs are concerned, mm -hmm. it's the best SD line we've had. It's kind of the SD line we deserve. Mm -hmm. um, mm. I kind of wish that the frames were included in all the kits. That's just a me thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would, I would say good. I think mm -hmm. good is... It's like a high good, not, yeah. not like... Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm kind of right there. I'm like, good or great, because think about this for a second. It's obviously the best SD line that we've ever gotten. Um, I mean, inner frame on an SD kit back in the day, nobody would have ever thought about it, right? Um, the other cool thing is that you can now take all those old school SD kits, modify them a little bit, slap them on this inner frame. And now you've got a modernized old kit uh, if you're you know willing to, to put the work in and everything. Um, the articulation is really good for SDs, which obviously is going to be problematic just because of the deformed nature of the kit anyway. Um, and then, I mean, shit, look at this. We've gotten, what, uh, Nightingale SD? Um, we've gotten, uh, what is it? The, the, didn't we have the crossbone in this mm -hmm. line as well? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, kind of got, a low point, honestly. What's that? Crossbone was kind of a low point for the for the line. I was so? really okay. disappointed in it. Okay. But probably still better than the original though. 
Oh, definitely. But okay. again, so like that. So I mean, yeah, I'm either good or great. Um, I would be comfortable with uh, with either. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as uh, I I've built two of them. Uh, I think yeah, I think just the RX and the Nightingale. I don't, yeah, I think that's just the only two that I've built. I uh, the RX crossbow. Mm -hmm. I would say, I mean, uh, certainly great, if not awesome. I think just for people who are fans of SD kits, uh, I think just the added articulation to them, they're so much more poseable. Uh, and you have the option of having the extended proportions. I think it's really cool. The color separation on them is, is uh, quite good, I think, for SD kits. Uh, although, but yeah, I think the the limited scope of the line is kind of the only thing that's really holding me back. Just compared yeah, to the BBC kind of where I am. and it, it's it, it seems like Bandai is kind of hesitant to embrace the SD line anyway like we keep getting new SD lines mm -hmm. yeah. so I feel like that kind of holds it back from being awesome as well yeah I mean as the line goes I mean just so far I would I would almost put it in awesome just because I think they are really 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 good so far I mean as far as SD kits go but I think this, I'd say it's, Keeping great, and the other thing is like um, what we're dealing with, are like the R RG and high grade and master grade, the kits and the artwork all look the same kind of on the box, and you go ooh, and then you get home and you go ah, oh, this is kind of crap. The SD, it's not tricking you into anything unless there's oh, maybe yeah. some painted parts. You're like this is a super deformed Gundam. I know what I'm getting myself mm -hmm. into. So there's no like semi sort of deceit with a tiny thing going. This is a painted and modified model or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So man, I, I I haven't built them, but man, great or awesome, I'm cool with that. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's it's got a goal and it looks like it's achieving it good. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, let's let's stick with that. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, the, the guys in the chat are, are talking about, they're mentioning about a couple other uh, lines. So why don't we just take a moment to mention a couple of other lines that were not listed on here. So uh, Brian brought up the mega size. I didn't put mega size on here just because there's also only like five kits in the line. Right. But uh, mm -hmm. what do you guys think about the mega size kits? Where, where would you put those? I would say uh, good. I've never built yeah. one, but if like, based on perception, I would say good. I would yeah. say good, yeah. Yeah, they they look pretty good. Yeah, the water slide, giant. Yeah. I mean, big high grades. You can't really mess that up. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. of them come with lights. Mm -hmm. And some people just want a big, big Gundam, just a big one. Mm. Yep. Yeah. 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 I mean, the but size the is the redeeming factor. I think. Mm -hmm. My my thing is like it's kind of like in the same vein with the with the SD kits though is like they don't really make them. I wish yeah. they would like they made the unicorn. That kind of surprised everybody. But then, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I thought the line. I thought the line was dead. <laughs> mm. the unicorn came out. It's just uh, a bit of novelty, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, novelty. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the size, but they they're really super nicely detailed as well. They have a. Mm. I mean, they're seam lines all over the place on them, so they take a, a bit of work to get them to really look their best. But they are really yeah. nicely detailed. What's that? Yeah, I said. Could you imagine seeing removing something like that? I mean, you've done it, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot of sanding for those kits. Uh, the size no, of the part. Huh? Did we just talk about that with the eighties kits? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at least with the eighties kits, you've got like little parts that are you, yeah. you know just the size of your finger, like max. Could you imagine little... waiting to sand a giant piece of plastic for forty-five minutes? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> the never ending sanding. <laughs> yeah, the, the unicorn didn't really have that much though for seamlines. I guess <clears throat> that was that was the outlier. I know the, the RX and the Zaku though do, do have a lot of seams on them. The Zaku especially seams all through the piping. That was horrible. Oh, oh no. Oh through the piping, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. It's always the uh, power pipes. Kids every mm -hmm. time. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't yeah, matter. I'm cool with it going, going into good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Another line then to another one that we can talk about is the uh, yeah the 100 scale IBO full mechanics. I don't know if you want to count. I have 100 scale on here, and this one here, this 100 scale, is meant to just be for um, just non-grade kits in general. 
So mm. 144 scale and 100 scale non grade. So some double O kits were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like those. Yeah. So the maybe we can also kind of lump that 100 scale IBO kits into that. Yeah. But if you want to have the if if you guys want to mention about the full mechanics line mm. separately, personally, I think the full mechanics line is nothing different, all except there's a little bit more detailed. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. it was just a renamed, rebranded yeah. one one hundred scale, no scale I anyway. Just, I think it was no. just their response to people being like, "I want a master grade." Yeah, this is a master grade. It's a no grade. And they kind of like yeah. did that, and it didn't really work. And now we have a master grade bar for some reason. Yeah. yeah. That said, uh, the Iron Blood one, Iron Blood one hundred scale non grade kits in general, the first half or the later half full mechanics line, I think are definitely. Much better than any of the other non-grade 100 scale kits series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah so I, I, I think those the full mechanics especially are great. Um, mm -hmm. The detail that you mm -hmm. get, the um, articulation, the the um, all the little doohickeys and the moving parts and everything. I mean, for a non-master grade, yeah, it blew yeah, it out of the water. Course. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then you lump in all the other previous one 100 scale models. Uh, into it, and then it does kind of kind of bring down the grade. I would say a little bit. So, um, I you know, what do you guys think? I'm thinking good. You know, I'm thinking good. Uh, yeah. I like good with that. Hmm. Yeah, another I thing. Like good. Uh, another thing that I've noticed with the kits that is something that is maybe won't really matter to everyone, uh, but for some people, is something to think about is that the the longevity of the joints on those is. It's mm. pretty short. They get real mm. rickety real fast. Mm. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, like, <laughs> if you went back like after a week and then tried posing it again, you just find it. It's just like flopping all over the place. Mm. Mm. Wow, and wow. they're they're pretty cheap, right? Are they like maybe yeah. two thirds the price of a master grade or half? Yeah, yeah about that. Uh, yeah. I think the standard price point for them is is probably around twenty five hundred yen, three thousand yen. Yeah, so, see, and man, the, what you get for your dollars is really good. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And the older ones are even cheaper than that. The the old Wing 1 100s uh, were probably, what, about 1,800 yen um, or something like that? Yeah, if if you're going that way, Tim, why don't we just segue into talking about the um, 100 scale mm -hmm. or just the non-grade kits in general. So, oh, I thought we were. My bad. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're oh, still no, talking I'll, about kind of the mm. IBO kits. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry. No, no you're, uh, right, you're right. I think we kind of sorted out, but yeah. Uh, so basically, whatever we end up going with for the non-grade kits here, we'll just kind of know that the IBO kits are one tier above that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, mm. But yeah, uh, 100 scale and and 144 scale, just non-grade kits because non-grade kit, uh, obviously, they don't have a logo for that. So this is what I went with. Yeah. This is the logo that they use for the 100 scale versions, anyway. Uh, so yeah, non-grade kits. What do you guys think? I've only built mm -hmm. like the the curious, the one hundred curious. And I and I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, there's like hollow mm -hmm. bits and and the backside of parts and stuff, but I really enjoyed it. But I knew what I was getting from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. You haven't built one, Simon? No, I don't think I have. No. Oh really? Oh, la ta Look at me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fancy over here. <laughs> I uh, only build kits that have a logo on them. <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah I, I'm the same, Josh. The few that I've, I've built, I have actually quite enjoyed them. At the time, looking back uh, at them, they're not quite as nice as I remember them, but I did definitely enjoy the ones that I have built. At the time, I think like uh, it'd be 15 years ago or something, mm. when I built a couple of the 100 scale kits from Seed, I think. I think I built like the Justice and the Providence, I think, I want to say. Yeah, I, I thought they were nice at the time. Yeah. And especially if it's early in your Gunplot kind of experience and years and stuff, and you're like, oh, it's a high grade, but you don't care because you're like, wow, look how big it is. This is cool. Um, yeah. So it doesn't, it, you're not like searching for inner frames and super detail and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I, would, I, would, I don't know. I'd put good. I, like, I'm just basing off the curiosity, and that was just a really good kit. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, the yeah, I just was also thinking the uh, Avalanche Exia as well was another one hundred scale non great oh. that way back when. That one was also That's pretty right. awesome. Mm. Uh, so yeah, those are all one hundred scale. But what about uh, one one forty four scale non? Bad. Bad. They're bad. <laughs> I thought that was kind of with the '80s kits. I thought that was kind of like. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I was thinking like these are uh, these would be the non-grade kits that are like late '90s, early 2000s, where they were doing these. Where, where in a time when HG and MG existed, but they also were doing non-grade lines at the same time. Mm. If that makes sense. I haven't done a one one forty four. I yeah, I mean, as an overall, I still probably say good, just wasn't because. Of, just a, yeah, good. Yeah, Justin. I was gonna say, wouldn't that just kind of fall under like double O stuff? Like, wouldn't there just a bunch of like double O and seed? Uh, yeah, seed and double O mostly. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I I think I built a double O one, and it wasn't very good because you know there's obviously a high grade counterpart. Uh, I would say I would say bad. I put it in bad. Was, it, was the was the virtue a non grade? Yeah, yeah. Was it the yeah. virtue Nadale combination? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Yeah. I have built mm -hmm. one then. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> right. um, no, I didn't like it. It sucked. <laughs> I, I was, I was, I was, there was alternative. Like, you, it's not like you had to buy it. It was just like you could buy this real cheap version, or you could buy the root like real version. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I have a, I quite like that uh, one hundred scale virtue actually myself personally. But uh, I just, I just thought it made too long. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, I built, no, sorry. Okay, I I built uh, the Cerebi, not the virtue. Oh, so. the Cerebi. Mm. Oh, Cerebi. Yeah. Mm. I think the Cerebi is maybe a little bit better than the the virtue was. Yeah, I, I built it. that one. Anyway, so. Uh, I think still pretty good, but Justin's leaning towards bad. What do the rest of you guys think? I would say good because I'm remembering one one hundred. Yeah, but if 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 I'm not thinking about one one forty fours, yeah, I say good. Simon, what's uh, the verdict? Good. Yeah, I'm on good too. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, yeah. Justin overruled this time. Sorry, buddy. That's all good. <laughs> I got what I wanted. To <laughs> <laughs> uh. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm kind of saving, I think yes. I'm saving like HG and MG for last, since those are, I think the most pervasive lines. But let's, uh, oh, let's go back. That's to gonna that. be so good. Oh man, yeah. let's, let's <laughs> knock get ready out for things. another uh, hour. Yeah, let's knock out these SDs real quick. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna need right, too much so time SD, on these. SDX standard, uh, bad or trash? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is there something trash? lower than something lower than trash we can put in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not just like, just the beginning. Like, nothing's trash, guys. Nothing's trash. And now we get to SD and <laughs> trash. Can I go lower than that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can we just put that on the list? <laughs> yeah, they're 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 pretty bad. Uh, I feel like bad. this is like what they were trying to do with this line cross silhouette ended up becoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like like they market it, it's like, oh it's super affordable. Oh, it's like look at all this these cool style like the boxes and the way they were stylized look fantastic. But then when you actually got them and built them, you're just like, oh, okay. So everything has just got holes in it. Yeah. yeah. Everything oh, yeah. Normal. I, I will say the one thing that I did enjoy about the line was that uh, they did the head and like not the cute eyes style. See, I'm yeah. a, I kind of like to do. I don't, I like my robots to look like robots. Uh, yeah. I get some people don't really care for it. And I, I see, like, we get a lot of options now. You can do it both ways. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, I, I like how they marketed it. I like the way that all the boxes and the styles look. But the they really dropped the ball on, like, they doubled down on, like, we're going to spend no money on this line. Mm -hmm. And it shows. Yeah. Cool. Trash. Trash. <laughs> Am I good with yeah. trash? Yeah. All right. Rocking. Fair enough. Uh, perfect grade. There's a big one. What do you guys think? Ooh, uh, oh, man. Good. Yeah, I'll go with good. Yeah. Not great, but good. Yeah. I've never actually built one, so I don't know. So I would probably yeah, I can't I can't vote. Uh I mean I mean you've got the awesomeness of 
the unicorn and the Mark II, but then you've got the the well, shit. Don't, tier. Say, the, don't uh, say the unicorn is awesome, Tim. You back up. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's pretty big and awesome. It's anyway, but, it's, you, but it's a big uh, master grade. It's just a big master grade with lights in it. It's still pretty cool, though. I thought the perfect grade Exia was just a joy to build. So yeah, I, that's so nice. Perfect grade Exia. Mm. With the lighting kit and everything, that was really cool. But then you've got the the shit tier, like the the wing, like yeah, with rubber with rubber fucking torso parts. Like, come on, man! Like, did you not <laughs> learn anything sad. from previous experience? Mm. I I feel like it's such a mixed bag, like. You've got the older ones, which are like obviously it's like what the line was built from. Like, look at all this detail, look at all these parts, look at all this great stuff. But like, yeah. they haven't really aged well. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And then the new stuff, it's like, like besides the Exia, like it kind of forgets where it came from. Like the unicorn does not have like a frame with a bunch of detail on it, and I get that's not really the point, but it's kind of the point of the line. Yeah. Um, and then, like, and I lost its the way. Older, RPGs like LEDs were in the box. All the bells and whistles were there. They didn't charge you extra for them, and now they're charging you extra for them. And it's yeah. oftentimes like the entire cost of the model again. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I also don't think the lineup is the greatest. I think it it's kind of suffers the same way the real grade line is, but yeah. excused because it's such an expensive line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot of tooling and a lot of R and D and everything too. So yeah, I mean it's limited at that point. My main thing is, especially for the perfect grade wing, I, I have flashbacks of when I first got it, when it kind of first came out. And hype. you know, you, you were hype. dude, oh, super hype, <laughs> super hype, like more hype than anything, right? Um, because you kept seeing all these promos in Hobby Japan and Dengeki Hobby and model graphics and everything, right? And you, you would see these big, big splash pages of this truly elegant and majestic wing model just, you know, flying and articulating and all that shit, right? But then you get it and you open it up and you're like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, what the fuck is this? Like, it was like Justin's video, uh, Bustin' News videos. He's like, what the fuck is this, right? Like with bendy wings, like come on, what bendy wings? Like you couldn't, you couldn't just make them plastic. You had to make them bendy with the little bendy thing in it, like a little. Oh, it was just bad. I was so pissed. Like, indeed, worst, worst spent spending a hundred and twenty dollars I've ever had. So, oh. yeah, if I could take it back, I would. Mm. Oh, man. Uh, the the thing that I kind of dislike about the PG kits as well is that after you got them built, there's not really a whole lot that you can do like posing them just because they're so big and heavy. They just, they just mm. can't stand there. That's it. Yeah. Some, of them, some of them more so than others. And like, that's another thing I, I think is like a point against it. It's like the newer perfect grades. They're like, it, they're big light spectacles and they mount the whole thing to the base. And you really can't do anything with it. Mm. Yeah. The Exio, the Exio was a, a good uh, one uh, against that, though. The Exia, you can actually pose quite well, mm. even, mm. even while it's on the base. Yeah, so that's I'm still I'm still holding out for my for my PG Astria Bandai. If you're uh, watching, you can release that any day now. <laughs> that's the only reason I haven't bought one yet is because I know the second I buy the PG Exia, they're going to announce the Astria, and I'm going to hate myself. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, the the. The PG Exia and is definitely like far and away the best among the PG mm. line. I mean, depending on what you want in it, but mm. uh, yeah, there's like you said, Justin. There's a mixed bag. There's great ones and pretty bad ones. But yeah. I think overall, I think the biggest thing is like the old ones have not like proportion wise have not held up. E like the Zod's mm. got like stumpy little legs, but the details are just fantastic. Sure. Yeah. Mm. So good. We're all good with good. Yeah. We're good with good. good. Moving on. Uh, uh, Ari 100. Kind of oh, 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 man. Great, I think. Well, first off, let's just say that they finally made all of those upcoming releases now planning. They've finished off all that list, so we're all happy with that, mm -hmm. right? Well, yeah. I got one left on the top one and like two or three out of the bottom one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, 
I've built the Baowu and oh, I think maybe that's it. I just did the Baowu and I I was yeah. I like the way it looks, but I wasn't really impressed with the build. Mm-mm. Uh, just did the gun cannon detector. The gun oh, cannon yeah. detector was really cool. I don't like the design of that. I picked it up so I could get that extra gun. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a fun build. It was a really fun build. Uh, mm. The GPO four was super good. GPO four, really yeah. The uh, the Afrit was fantastic. Mm. Yeah, the Afrit is great. Oh yeah, GPO four. I did that one as well. Yeah. But I feel like the ones like I bought the ones that I thought looked really good, and then the ones that I haven't bought just kind of look garbage. So it's like kind of middle of the road. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've I heard that. a lot of people talk about how good the DJ is and the Hama Hama. Um, I was going to buy the DJ and then they put it out at high grade and I'm like, I think I'd just rather have that. <laughs> <laughs> the high grade is uh, better, I would say, for most really? of okay. yeah. But just the size of it. 100 scale. Has anybody built the Hama? Yes. I have not. Yeah, yeah. I, I have. I really like that. That was just really yeah. fun to put together because it was such a unique design. Um, but mm. um, all the path separation and detail was fantastic. Mm. I, I think I've built all of them except for the uh, Mark III. Mm. Oh, I built the Mark III too. I think it's right here next to me. Bingo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> See, I would have to say <laughs> these. these these definitely need to go above the one one hundreds, because they're basically the same, but you just got extra detail on the outside and good yeah, colors. I was gonna say, like, I would put them somewhere between great and good. Like, if if yeah. they were in yeah. great, I wouldn't be mad about it. Mm -hmm. I I think and great, mm -hmm. um, simply because of the variety. Um, we've got some really oddball designs in there, which are which are nice because we've never some of them we've never had in. 144, let alone 1100. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. hmm. They're at least from Bandai, anyway. So yeah, I think I think great because they've just been really fun to work with, and they're easy to modify, and they're easy to detail, and everything like that too. So they're mm -hmm. a builder's kind of dream at that point. Yeah, I think it's definitely a line that's uh, more appealing to you know modelers rather than just. Uh, right. Snap builders or collectors, whatever you want to call it. Uh, well, collectors collect everything. So, well, yeah. that's true. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the original Vigna, I should just mention the original Vigna Gina, I also didn't build. Uh, but the other thing that I think is nice about the line, just and adds even more variety to it, is that the P Bandai releases from the line have also been uh, some interesting stuff in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we mm -hmm. had the Rebawu. Oh, yeah. The, oh. Yes. Efri knocked. Yeah. Efri Schneid. Schneid. Thank you. Sorry. I always get those fucked up. Anyway. <laughs> like uh, yeah. the uh, other version of the uh, other version of the Yakadoga, another version like the ground version of the Gun Easy, and uh, it's some cool stuff come out uh, for P Bandai releases of the line as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, yeah. Great. Oh, cool. Good. Everybody. Yeah. Yep. Rock. I'm happy with it. Great. Right. Uh, yep. So before we get to the big two, let's just talk about the last SD line, the BB Senshi line. Yeah. What do you guys think? It's a very uh, good. Bad. Good, I bad. Think, I don't know. I think it's good. Because <laughs> these are the ones that are all like filed after the the dynasties or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, the shiny about? ones. Uh, oh, no. the gold, oh, the gold ones, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> the shiny oh. ones. <laughs> no. Or is this uh, something else? Yeah, those are the... Uh, uh, that, oh, that's the same Goku. Never mind. Yeah, this is yeah, bad. And, Put it in bad. And that would be the uh, BB, BB, uh, BB Legends. Yeah. Uh, I, I would like, BB really... Legends, like everything else other than X Standard and Cross Silhouette. I would say like almost good. Because <laughs> almost this is, good. This is kind of like the it's like a high grade <laughs> of SD kits, but I don't just think not... we have a category for almost good. <laughs> they're just they're. They're old. That's all it is. Like they, yeah. you know, it's like the last time Bandai was like serious about SD kits, and that was way back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. So like, the oldness, they don't hold up very well. But it's got such a wide variety to choose from because there's again like the like the '80s kits. Like 
there's a lot of different designs to choose from. Yeah. I mean, you can get a dendrobium. Yeah. I mean, there's like a thousand fucking kits in the in this line, right? It's just like, yeah. come on. There's so much variety and so much to choose from that makes it really a good line if you want to find your your weird little SD kink, right? Um, like they've got uh, what they've got, you know, the like uh, a Zeta Plus in this line, which is just awesome um, because you know you can go back if you're into Zeta Plus, like me and me and Josh, like you can go back and you can build a a Zeta Plus super deformed. Um, but again, they are old school super deformed, so they have hollow, hollow limbs, hollow weapons, and all that crap. So, eh, you take the good with the bad. Hmm. There's, I mean, like Josh, you you know what you're getting into. Yeah, yeah. This is also including a lot of the more recent ones, uh, like a lot of the BB Senshi SD kits from Unicorn uh, are quite good. As far as I know, like the Kshatriya, the Unicorn versions, the Neo Zeong are all in the BB Senshi line as well. So I just don't have. Oh, hollow, hollow limbs. I forgot all of them. Yeah. Did they still have hollow limbs and weapons and stuff? Um, a little bit. I'm sure, they a still bit. have. Yeah, some hollow bits. Nothing close to like what the Xfender line had, but sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. There's little bits, but I think, especially the more recent ones, uh, have all been really good. But yeah, it is such a expansive line you have quite a wide range between the really old ones and the more new ones which are yeah. quite good yeah i didn't um, know the the, the kshatriya was in this line that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's a great kit my friends made that that's cool mm -hmm. nice. yeah i'm so cool good. with good yeah yeah, yeah. I'm good with good yeah all right i love it it's so yeah. funny when you see it right next to perfect grade yeah. <laughs> yeah. bb said right. as good as perfect grades <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe better yeah <laughs> All right, let's go with high grade. High grade. Oh, all right, come on. Him. He's all, right, all right, boys, let's get your gloves on. Oh, I lost it. It's just, this is just, it it's just going to be awesome. It has, to, it has, it has to. The, the best variety of anything that Bandai's done. Yeah. Mm. Um, mm. They look fantastic. And I mean, you could argue that they can be a mixed bag sometimes. But again, here lately, they, they've really stepped their game up. They're all cross compatible. They're easy to modify. They're mm. easy to combine. They're easy to easy paint. To paint. Mm. Easy to put together. It's really like the ultimate all around. You know, if if you if you really want to get into this and you really want to be serious and you really you know it it opens a lot of doors to start here. Mm -hmm. I just have I just have this dude on my desk, the masala. This is a high grade, and this thing's fantastic, and all the detail mm. and stuff, and there's like some inner framey bits. Um, oh, it's high grade, yeah, mm. yeah. Okay, so counterpoint. Oh, here we uh, go. <laughs> you know, you guys know I'm a I'm a I'm a size queen here. Um, so the size of the high grades, and especially mm. on the smaller um scale mechs uh your wings your victories your crossbones stuff like that um is going to be super tiny in this line right mm -hmm. um yeah, which could well. be really disappointing to a lot of people especially getting into the getting into the hobby at you know have it being their first go like when i got into the hobby and i didn't really understand the scaling and everything um I got a high grade at first, and I'm like, oh, this thing's pretty small. That's disappointing, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Man. Now, mind you, mind you, I I didn't know what the hell I was holding, and I didn't know anything about scaling or anything like that. So it was definitely part ignorance, but also there was a bit of disappointment at that point, too. Um, but then, then, you know, you move from high grade, you know, HGUC, all that good stuff, to a master grade with all of the articulation and details and the moving parts and things of that nature and you're just in awe right mm -hmm. so like the gateway drug of the gun I, yeah yeah now mind you mind you high grades with the variety and some of the massive scale uh, mobile armors and mechs that we've gotten, the Dendrobium, the Neo Xeon, you couldn't pull those off in a master grade, right? So mm -hmm. that 
in, it, in and of itself gets massive amounts of points right there because of what you can pull off at this scale. But the big one for you know your everyday modeler is so much detail, so much more detail can be packed into a master grade um, in terms of what is coming out of the factory as opposed to the high grade. That's that's my case. Mm -mm. I had a similar mm -hmm. thing with master grades. One of the first master, second or third master grades I got was F91. I was looking at the box and I'm like, man, this is really cool. I got out of the hobby shop in the car park, opened it up and I saw the feet and they were like beep. And I'm like, what? I don't know. And I took it back in. I'm like, can I please change this? This is like really small and I want a big one. And they're like, yeah, you can change it. So I was the same sort of thing. I got really sad because I chose the F91. Yeah. 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 <laughs> same thing for me when I built the Master Grade Crossbone ages ago. Oh. Oh, it's no, the same no, size. Not the crossbone, the uh, uh, V dash. The V dash. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, the I, ever, I don't think I've ever had that moment. I just kind of, I'm like, this guy looks cool. Let's get him. It's it's when you're like building it and you're like, oh, this, okay, this must be a bit of the arm or something. I don't know. Oh, that's the foot. Oh, it's tiny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, I mean, for me, for, for all those reasons, I would say great. Uh, uh, it, it would be a hard great, too. Like, <laughs> Almost awesome, but hard great. Hard great. Hard, hard yeah. great, man. Hard great. That classic. That classic term. <laughs> yeah. Like it's Ooh. a hard no. This is a mm. hard great. Let's go. And the thing, the also thing, um, Enrico in the chat, he also said that the cost benefit is is a big factor as well because sure. you're getting this this mobile suit for really cheap compared to the master grade. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's definitely a feature. I still mm. say and great. then they're bringing, and then the high grades with like the the origin kits, which is the outer details, ridiculous, and some of the joints and stuff, and the detail on the inside is just yeah. phenomenal. Mm. Oh. I think mm. there there's way too many awesome points about the HG line. I think that outweigh the few negative things that you could say about it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, I I, I, I I vote awesome. What do you guys reckon? I'm, awesome. I'm going to stick with awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. I think hey, you all. <laughs> <laughs> way too much. I'm about to be Tim with Master Grade, except. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. All right, so to me, to me, the, the high grades are kind of like snacks, and the master grade is like the main course. But man, snacks are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I would be sad yeah. if snacks went away. Yeah, but if there was only <laughs> snacks, oh man. God damn it. Josh, now that, you, now that you've described it like that, now now I'm like, yeah, okay. The snacks are pretty damn good, aren't they? <laughs> All right. Do right. we have a snack grade? Let's put it in that snack, category. Snack grade. It's, it's a cookie, and you build it, and then when you're done, you can eat it. You yeah. eat it. So <laughs> yummy. That's All awesome. right. Oh, can somebody make it? Let's call it a day. Yep. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, they're just awesome. Let's yeah, yeah. Let's stop right there. No, um, yeah, no question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who are you the master grades? Let's go. Josh, I, go. I have, I do have okay. grapes with it. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Let's hear the dissent first, and then we can get into the praise. Let's yeah. go. So there's, there's a handful of little personal things. Like I said, the my my biggest reasoning for loving the real grade line is that I don't have a lot of space. So okay. I get, I get that master grade build with a smaller package. So that's why I like that line. Uh, I really do like MGs. I like the frames. I like all that stuff. I wish, but it, it seems like Bandai does a lot of like, we're going to make this, and then everything that we make after that is going to be based off of this. So you get a lot of gaps left in the line. Mm -hmm. Like how many how many years do people wait for for the that new double O that Josh, Josh is working on? Dynamis. Oh, the Dynamis, yeah. Mm -hmm. Too long. Mm -hmm. Mm. Um, I feel like we get a lot of P Bandai Master Grades. Oh, yeah, and, uh, and a the, well. biggest, the biggest victim of that is like they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It mm. just okay. It, I think there's a handful full of things that hold it back, but I mm. don't think it's enough to not make it awesome because it is a really good line. Like okay. if you're looking at it, like the line like that with the releases, that's a holdback. But if it's individual kits, there's like nothing wrong. No, I mean, every once in a while you'll get a master grade that's kind of eh, but most right, of the time yeah. it's, it's pretty good. 
Yeah. Mm. I, I had I had a picture, Justin, with you talking about the space. You know how like you have the concept of painting yourself into a corner? I'm picturing you working on a master grade and then you put the V fin on and then you're just stuck in the corner of your room and you're like, it's too big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you like can't get out. Yeah. <laughs> I can't take the part. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, I can't do <laughs> Oh man. Uh, and your family's like, did you build another master grade? You know we don't have space. <laughs> that thing, thing needs its own bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, All right. So who wants to preach on the uh, on the 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 pros of master grade? I, well, I, I gotta I, try. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and think of some some knocks on it. Go ahead. I, okay. I, I have a, a point that I think is is worth noting as well as if you yeah. asked people just what they think is the best gumpla ever, just get best gumpla. Most people are probably going to name a, a particular master grade kit. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe the Sinatra, there's a that's another one that gets talked about a lot. Oh, man. So mm. just I mean that that should be a good indicator mm. of that. It's mm. the line. I mean, it, that said, I mean it's you it would usually be a handful of like the same kits, like the new Verka, the Sasby Verka, you know, mm. a few of them that a lot of people would mention. Uh um, yeah compared to the line with 200 plus kits in it. Uh, so it's not to say that they're all the best kits ever made. But I think like with a lot of the lines that have been around for a long time, you do have a wide range. A lot of the early ones weren't that good. Yeah. GPO a the, one. Yeah, a lot of the later ones are really fantastic, so. Yeah. And I get, and also like further to that is like some of the most like cherished moments when you're like going, oh my gosh, this is, look at that, was with Master Grade. Yeah. 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 When you're like having rainbows just shooting out of your head. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for me, for the, my love of the Master Grade line stems from just the sheer quality of the kits and it's been high quality for a very, very long time. Sure, the beginning kits like the the first RX, the first Zakus, those were those were really bad. Um, can I stop you for one second? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Bandai, can you please? I know I, I I asked you for something earlier, but I'm gonna ask you again. Those little extra parts that came with those old master grades, put them back in the box. Oh yeah. Oh, like right. the gravel and, stuff. Oh, and the little yeah. handles and little vents. They were so yeah. good. Yeah. Those are perfect. I love those. I really things. liked those. I thought they were cool. Because they were, yeah, back then, they were really kind of, you know, pushing it for, um, you know, your traditional modelers, your tank modelers and stuff like that. And all that crap is like commonplace in those tank kits and, and armor kits and stuff. But, you know, they've obviously diverged from that. Um, but like I was saying, man, just the sheer awesomeness of this line. Um, it, even back in the day, I mean, you look at something as trivial as, um, the master grade ground Gundam, um, and you know, the subsequent easy eight, um, the, the ground GM, those kids, even their age are still amazing builds even mm. to today. Really um, solid. Yeah. yeah. Insanely solid, insanely solid. Um, you know, you think uh, to the Zeta Plus line, Josh, I think you'll probably agree mm. with this. Awesome. Um, you know, the the technology that went into the Zeta Plus obviously um, gave us the Zeta Gundam 2.0, which all in of itself was a, was a really good kit as well. Um, and then, you know, you kind of fast forward through a bunch of years to just sheer jewels of the line in the Sazabi Verka, the new Verka, Sinanju Stein Verka. Um, mm. Those three kits right there, you know, are legends in the line. Z the Zaku 2.0. Zaku 2.0. Oh. Thank you, Simon. How could I forget yeah. that? That yeah. is... Man, the, the leg cool. inner frame and the foot inner frame. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Kill me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, and you know what? And you, how can you forget the ball? The ball. Right. <laughs> the ball, man. It's so charming. Like, come mm -hmm. on. Like, the like ball. Some, some, some master grade kids, I wish I could erase my memory so I could get them again and do them again. Like, yeah, that's right? what I, I feel. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you just had so much technology 
injected into the master grade line. I mean, you've gotten the, you know, the two part uh, injection, you've got the articulated fingers now, um, you know, the, the RX 2.0 or was it 1.5? No, it was two, the 1.5 was, I think kind of the, the grandfather of all kind of current technologies, because that was the first mm -hmm. one that had the, the double injection molding and everything like that. And it was just so way, way, way over engineered. It was just stupid. Um, but I mean, essentially you got a perfect grade in a master grade price point, which was uh, staggering, right? So mm -hmm. my love of the master grade line is just infinite and will never fail. So I you think you're on. Wow. Can you imagine anything, anything above me. awesome? That would be the where the master grade line falls for me. What are you saying, Justin? I was going to say you. I think you just kind of stumbled onto something. Yeah, yeah, go. What if they made perfect grade kits in master grade scale? Um, I think part, I think in part, it would you know, it would it would literally be like real grades but bigger. I mean, yeah, I mean, pretty much. They call that. But I mean, isn't that what kind of the current master grade line already is? Kind I of. Think, I think kind of what it would need to be more like a mass grade version of a perfect grade would be like more opening open hatch gimmicks and things like that. I think. Yeah, 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 that's fair. Mm. That's fair. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I just want to because we're just we're out of time basically. I, there's a couple other things I just wanted to mention briefly because people brought it up in the chat and uh, yeah, I think it's we could at least just touch on this. Uh, one of them being the high res line, which we already kind of talked about earlier. So I think we sort of already covered that kind of before we started this conversation, but mm -hmm. high res, what would you guys think about that? Um, how many high reses are there? Three? Yes, uh, four, five, five, five four. three Just base ones. Yeah. I didn't know there was that many. Um, uh, good, great, maybe. The price I would say. Yeah, I was gonna say, I would say good based on perception, because I haven't built one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would never build one. So, like, I mean, oh. the price point, I feel like, holds it back from being great because they look neat. Mm, yeah. Some of them look, like Tim says, a lot over-engineered. Like, the, the barber mm. toast looks way, like, it's too much. Mm. But, yeah, I yeah. just think good. There's, a, there's, like, some extreme good and extreme bad points for the line. Like, mm. yeah. Yeah. way too expensive. But then again, the stylized look could be really appealing for people who like that. Uh, like the pre-built inner frame is, is very interesting at least. Um, mm. But the stability of them, at least with the, the Barbatos and the wing have some pretty bad stability issues. But the, apparently the Stray is much better. So I would say that yeah, may be good as well. Another line that uh, was brought up is the hard graph line. I didn't really think about that. Oh, yeah. Yes, so. Kind of that's not really like, like line, maybe. I feel like the hard graph line is like static kits. Like yeah. really, they're more modelers' kits, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're more like your traditional kits. modeling. Yeah. Content. It's the Gundam versions of military model kits. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, if we, I, I think if we were to grade those, I mean, I think they'd be either great or awesome because they're insanely detailed. Yeah, they're really yeah. nice. Great. That's nice. I'd say great. Right. Yeah. yeah, great for sure. Yeah, great. So, yeah. are we gonna are we gonna now list off what our top grade is personally for each of us? Do we need to do that? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, I mean, sure. What's your favorite? Just real quick, I'm, like, I'm curious because I'm, I'm I'm predicting Zach's gonna go high grade. Uh, I'm saying MG. Uh, jo uh, uh, shit, Zach. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I love master grades as well, but I, but I just also just really enjoy high grades. So mm. I would say high grade, I guess. All right, Simon. Mm. Oh, it has to be master grade. It's just nothing's come close to it for me. So nice, Justin. RG, definitely. Of course. <laughs> I, I mean, about lack of space. RGs are like a treat to me. I built, I built more high grades than anything. But yeah. when I'm done, I treat myself to a nice real grade. I got you. You always go back to the what you're comfortable with, right? It's like dessert. It's dessert. <laughs> nice. Right. Yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, it's easy. Master grades. There's no, no doubt, no doubt. So, mm -hmm. Man, I love it that we did. What was this? Like an hour and ten or fifteen minutes, maybe on this or an hour? Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. over an hour. Yeah, right. yeah. this was fun. Uh, yeah, this is like good it. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about what about the um the HYM? 
Was it H4M? The one in the 60th? Uh, oh, oh, high mean, oh, yeah. The also yeah. over engineered perfect grades the, that have wired everything. As they yeah. were called, yeah. Uh, Tim has one. Yeah, the Glorious the series. The Glorious series, I'm going to tell you what, I've got the Dom and. <laughs> Like, I've never been in awe of a kit more than I was with that thing, just pulling the pieces out. Um, it just, you talk about just size envy, that that thing is just, will make you go, holy crap, this thing is huge, right? Um, it, it's awesome. I think uh, I, I think if it, if I was to rank it, I'd probably put it in great, um, mainly due to, due to price point. Um, because it's not a perfect grade, mm. but it's at a perfect grade price point, which is unfair. So I would say great. Well, doesn't some of that come from the fact that they're really hard to find now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, they were originally priced pretty high too. So mm. they are harder to find now. So you're talking about secondary markets, but even in the beginning, uh, the Glorious series was priced right around the perfect grade price points. Mm. So yeah, it was, a, it was a hard sell, but you know, you had the you had the goof, you had the Dom, and those were like the only two yeah. um, that they ever there made are. in the series, which was unfortunate because I thought it was really great. So, what are you gonna do? Mm-hmm. There you have it. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, the definitive uh, list. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think, think we like need to this. I think, like I mentioned, yeah, I'll I'll take uh, you can. I think you, there's like an option on this site here. You can like s- save it and get cool. a good show. So we can post that on the page. But oh yeah, I think as New I mentioned t-shirt. in the chat, I was actually planning on doing a, a video. So just for everyone else watching, just wanted to let you know, I'm planning on doing a video, uh, doing this like for Gundam series, I think, or something like that as well. So I want to do nice. another like this in the future. But that was fun for us to go through the grades together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I think the shows when whenever we have talks and we debate things are always really at least fun for us. So I think it was fun for a lot of other people too. So I, I like these uh, these style shows. So these are good. Yeah. These are fun sometimes. Yeah. Good shit. Maybe good stuff, boys. Maybe now, in the future we can do one of best shark clone. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are immediately up there in awesome, and then we just bring all the clones. There you go. Oh, man. Now, the unfortunate thing is, obviously, it's uh, it's 14 minutes past the hour, so we're not going to have, unfortunately, any time for Josh's drawing uh, today. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's a bummer, right? Um, but let's let's make a let's make a vow of it uh, right now. Let's do that first thing next show. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Let's do that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And we don't know what we don't know what the topic for the next show is going to be. So if we do happen to have a guest, uh, they're going to be drawing with us as well. So <laughs> case closed right there. But we don't know what we're going to do. So I've got an idea. That yeah, yeah, I'll show you guys in it? the chat afterwards because it's, yeah, cool. it's kind of related to next month's yeah. theme. Oh, Rock, and I got you. I got you. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right, there you go. Rocking. All right, cool. So, uh, with that, let's uh, let's do real quick do plugs, and then we'll uh, tie a bow on this thing, and we'll send it its on its way. So, uh, Zach, go first. Go. Uh, yep. Just a reminder again that so you guys have got five days left for the Matt K and Gundam contest. So I mentioned at the top of the show, but just anyone else who came in missed that at the beginning. Just a reminder that you've got a few days left, so get your trees in for that. Uh, a lot of big prizes. It's uh, instead of actual like. Model of kit prize, it's store credit, so you guys can be able to actually be able to choose whatever you want with that. So that's cool. And plugs, I mean, yeah, I think I never actually used this time of the show to actually plug my different things. Because <laughs> they're like already a, on your channel. Like. Yeah, they're already here. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I mean, just in case any of you guys don't know, I do also have Twitter, Instagram, and a Facebook page. The Facebook page is probably the most the thing that I use the most aside from my YouTube channel here, but I do also use Twitter and Instagram for things as well. Instagram, I've been noticing that I've really been neglecting it lately. I haven't really been using Instagram all that much lately, but... Instagram's fun. Yeah, I'm on there. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, next month, yeah, like I said, we've got a 
big kind of theme thing that I'm going to talk about at the start of the month. And then at the end of the month should be right around the time when we're passing 100K and I'll have a big announcement about that as well. So August yeah. is going to be a lot of big things to talk about. So, <laughs> there you go. Very cool. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Well, thank you, Zach. Uh, Simon. Um, yeah. Uh, you can follow me here on YouTube as Gundam UK. And um, check out the channel soon because I'm doing a sneak peek giveaway. Oh, to get to oh. Oh. the upside down Barbatos Lupus. Oh my god, I've wanted one of those. <laughs> All right, <laughs> the upside down version. I love the upside down version, that's the best one. I ordered I ordered one off of eBay and there was a scam, it was the right side up one, and I was so bummed. <laughs> oh, man. It's an exclusive um, kit that is upside down. Oh, that's awesome. I heard they only made one of them. How did you get one? <laughs> Why is I'm that so guy. funny? <laughs> <laughs> it's just stupid. It's funny. I oh, think God. You know, like yeah. with any joke, it's, it has to have a, a dash of like of reality in it. And just the fact that I think we could all see Banda actually doing something like that. So oh, yeah. yeah. 100%. Uh, it's it's around in reality somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh Simon, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh Justin, what do we got? Uh hi, I'm I'm Justin, Justinius Builds. Uh on everything. You can find me mostly on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter right now. I don't believe in paying so people can see my Facebook posts. So I tend to not use that. Um Yeah. Come say hi. Yeah. Me and Tim are gonna be teaching some classes very soon if you are going to be in the Laurel, Maryland or uh, what, where in Virginia? I don't remember the Richmond. exact city. Richmond. Okay, I thought, but I didn't want to say. So yeah. Richmond, Virginia, come say hi. I have a lot yeah. of friends around that area, so please come hang out. Oh, yeah, that'll be a fun one. That'll be a fun one. Uh, Josh, where can everybody find you, man? Josh Rodera on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all that, and my website, joshrodera.com, where you can buy art prints and my PDF book of my Zeta, which is a big work in progress PDF book. Pay whatever you want. As always, message me and just say hi. I like chatting to everybody. That's it word awesome thank you boys and uh for me guys uh chatomecca.com it will lead you to pretty much everywhere all my social medias and stuff like that the shop all that good stuff um like justin said we're going to be teaching two classes one on august 3rd in laurel maryland at the hobby works down there and then we'll be uh august 17th at the hobby town uh, in Richmond, Virginia for their GBWC event. So even if you're not participating in GBWC, definitely come out, bring your models, show them off. We're going to be teaching simple details and scale model photography for that. So that'll be a fun, fun day. Um, action packed for all those in attendance, definitely. So come on out for those. Uh, me and Zach will be double teaming um, new type build con. Uh, yeah, that'll be fun, right? <laughs> um, me there. And, uh, yeah, hell yeah, we'll be there. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna be stupid. Um, I'll also be at Sabaton Con on uh, August thirtieth uh, to September second. Come on out for that. Those Gundam guys will be joining me, and then I'll also be at SCGMC on uh, November 9th. So that'll be fun as well. So come on out for all this. Hi, dude. It, the end of the year is just gonna be nuts, like <laughs> stupid nuts. Like, uh, yeah. So I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be traveling cross country twice in, in two weekends. It's going to be stupid, but it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. So anyway, very tiring anyway. So hey, check uh, us out, check us out next uh, month for Gumbo talk episode 49 revenge of the Sith. Um, we're going to be back here and uh, we don't know what we're going to be talking about. So tune in for that. And as always, thank you for watching. We couldn't do this without you guys. So thank you, thank you, Alex, in the chat. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. And hey, I think big had a pretty easy job today. Didn't seem like anyone was, despite us yeah, talking about the topic. But I, I figured people would be arguing in the chat about the, what yeah. we're Full on about. fighting. Yeah, it right. Seemed very civil. So good job, guys. Yeah. Hey, and you know what? And shout out to Jim, Jim and Boo, Gumbler Fixation. We haven't shouted oh, at him out. I miss. Uh, I miss Jim. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, everybody Jim is pour out some paint for Jim. <laughs> What's that? Pour out some paint for Jim. There you go. Pour out oh, some paint out. for the movie. Nice. But he's still <laughs> around. He's, 
he's on hiatus right now, so it's all good. Maybe he'll come back to us and be on one he's, day. He's probably working on something in secret, and he's going to drop a bomb on us and be like, I'm back, bitch. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. You're probably right. So, all right. Well, so uh, with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Tune in next month, um, and we'll be back. So have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye. See ya.